Oh yeah, it's been a while, like a week and a half since the last stream, way, way too long. Let's see, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I hope so. Jost80, resubscribe for 23 months. Oh, it is that time, Jost80. Holy cow, dude, thank you so much for the support, my man. That is just incredible. I, I don't know what else to say. That I, I'm just overwhelmed by the support, man. I, I really appreciate it so much. I've got an action-packed stream for you today. The big news. We will do our Amiga news. The biggest news is that I've got a new baby. I've got a new Amiga. And I couldn't be more excited about it. Today we christen the new Amiga. We we'll also check out a demo of a brand new Amiga game, Verge World Icarus Rising. Just a demo. It's a technology demo, but it's super, super exciting. And then we've got like a ton of viewer request games to play. So yeah, craziness. At Jost80, well, you're welcome. I, I stream because of folks like you who give me so much support and encouragement, my man. Amiga love. In the chat. Amiga Love, I've got plans for you, buddy. You know I have an Amiga Love emote, but I've not reached full Amiga Loveness yet. You will see. I've got plans for you. Thank you, Jost80. I, I appreciate that very, very much. The new machine does look beautiful. Dave Retrobones, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, Dave. Looking forward to trying out your new game. Oh man, we got so much to do today, I think I need to start. Now, I always like to start off the stream with a demo. And I think I've actually played this demo, like, back in April, but I don't care, because it's so beautiful, and it's appropriate, being that our friends from Retro Bones are Polish. This demo group is Polish. It's Ghost Town. It's How Job. They ride the beams. Let's do it, 8-Bit Bill. Amiga.
yeah what is up everyone happy wednesday happy hump day welcome to the stream it is i'm so psyched to stream it's been like a week and a half it's been like way too long jost 80 again my man thank you for the sub 23 months that is just bananas bananas oh rom what's up great to see you back oh rom thank you so much kazrian thank you so much for the host kazrian monster joysticks i am loving the new case and everyone loved the Monster Joysticks. We had our Vintage Computer Federation Holiday Festivus over the weekend. And everyone was rocking the Monster Joystick, man. They were, they were loving it. Invent 71, you know it. We're going, baby. What's up, buddy? Poetic Android, Kazrian, Dave Retrobones. What is up, everyone? Fishbot, my man, bringing the good vibes. That's an amazing demo, right? Yo, Dome Dags Poten, thank you so much for the raid. It is awesome to have you here, Dome Dags. I hope I hope your stream went really, really well. I haven't had time to catch too many streams because things have been super busy for me. But I'm here now. Hey, what's up, Fred? Great to see you, Fred. Harry Longbone is here. Ms. DK is here. Again, thanks for the raid, Dome Dags. Dr. Mitzler is here. What's up, Kazrian? <laughs> Amiga Love dropped some acid in his Dr. Pepper. <laughs> pregnant Sausage. What is up, Pregnant? Great to see you. I know the piano was amazing, right, Fishbot? Dude, I love that demo, Fishbot. I Ghost Town and How Job are like two of my favorite groups. Yeah, they're amazing. Amazing. Head Wound Yoda's back. What's up, Head Wound Yoda? <laughs> oh, man. I know I've been loving the Baby Yoda, but I like the Head Wound Yoda even better because Head Wound Yoda's here with me. Malik 001, how's it going? Kazrian, nice emote there. It's snowing. It's snowing. I love it. Great to see you, Malik. Amiga Love. Dude, thank you so much for the subscription, Amiga Love. Dude, you know, Amiga Love, I've got plans for you, Amiga Love. You know, every stream I like to do updates. I like to upgrade the stream a little bit every week. So last week we got 8-Bit um, Bill from Dancing Wolf, and I actually upgraded 8-Bit Bill because the colors on his shirt on the Amiga logo were transparent, so I upgraded 8-Bit Bill. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. See? Now he's got the proper Amiga colors. Proper Amiga. Check. Proper check mark. Thank you, Dancing Wolf. So Amiga Love, I got, I got plans for you, Amiga Love. Now, as you don't already know, I've got the Amiga Love emotes. Now that you are a subscriber, Amiga Love, you can throw down the Amiga Love emote and keep spreading that Amiga Love. And I do have more plans for the Amiga Love in the future. Don't forget, I also got the, the love command. Let me... Yeah, spread the Amiga Love at AmigaLove.com. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, uh, Amiga Love, for the subscription, man. I appreciate that. And thank you for all the hard work and amazing efforts you put into the Amiga community yourself. AmigaLove.com rules. Got my Amiga Love sticker right there on my PC. It makes my PC cool. The cool thing about that PC is my Amiga Love sticker. <laughs> Thank you for the support, Amiga Love. I appreciate it very much. And like I said, stay tuned, Amiga Love, because one of the upgrades one soon will be Amiga Love 2.0. <laughs> oh yeah, you got a hump on hump day. Hey, what's up, Delamort78? Great to see you. Yeah, Jost80 knows it. Yo, Vincent GR, my man. How's it going? Ash said hi. What is up, Ash? Great to see you. Ash, it's a pleasure to have you here. Vincent GR, thanks for dropping all that cool stuff in my Discord. I appreciate it. The Pixels at Dawn Gaming, raiding with a party of four. Pixels, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it very, very much. Dancing Wolf, just subscribe. Dancing Wolf, dude, I should be subscribing to you. Dancing Wolf provides me with all this amazing artwork. I gotta see him one more time. I can't get enough of this guy. <laughs> Amiga. I've got plans for 8-Bit Bill. I've got future, 8-Bit Bill has got future plans. And I also have plans uh, for more of Dancing Wolf's artwork. Dancing Wolf, thank you so much. Yo, the Devil Bunny. What is up, Devil Bunny? I'm loving Devil Bunny, half of the Amigos podcast. It is a pleasure to have you here, Devil Bunny. I hope you're well. Oh, Misfit Rufu, you gifted the tier one sub to Dancing Wolf. Thank you, Misfit. Misfit, that is super generous of you, Misfit. Thank you very, very much. It's awesome to see you, Ash. Hey, what's up, Florin? Great to see you. Bobby Fat Gun, great to see you too. Again, thank you, Misfit. I hope everything's working good because 
It's been, it's been a while since I streamed. I gotta get rusty. You know, you get into that groove. So anyway, here's the plan for today. We'll start out with a little Amiga news. Then we're gonna get right into it, man. We're gonna check out uh, the new a new a new demo from Retro Bones. It's, gonna, it's called Verge World Icarus Rising. It's a new game that will be coming out, you know, sometime next year, maybe by the end of 2020. But we've got the first, like, almost like exclusive look at this demo. So we're gonna check out the demo, play it. It's gonna be awesome. And then I've just got like a ton of viewer requested games to play. So we'll probably go for a good two and a half hours today. It's gonna be it's gonna be wild. I'm just chilling here with the Mortimer Twang, <laughs> chilling it out. You're waiting for the Christmas. What's on your Christmas list, Blurn? I'm good. I'm good. Actually, I've got a new microphone on my Christmas list. Even though this one's pretty good, I'm hoping the new one will be even better. So the big news that happened to me, I mean the big news happened for me like, since the last stream, is that it's like holy crap, I got a new Amiga. It's so funny. People are like, new Amiga. They they make new Amigas. I'm like, well, it's not entirely new, but it's new to me. <laughs> Look at this beauty. Look at that beauty. Oh my god. I mean, come on. That is the CD32 style case from 81200.net. And inside of this case is the new Amiga 1200 motherboard, a PAL motherboard that was newly recapped by the retrobench.com. If you want to know where I got that motherboard, do exclamation mark shop in the chat. It will point you to the retrobench. They are amazing. They do top notch work. Um, I've got I've got a floppy drive in there that has since failed. It worked when I installed it. The floppy drive failed. So maybe I'll end up putting a uh, GoTech in there. I'm not sure. Um, and then what else we got in there? We got the we got the uh, IDE to compact flash card right angle adapter from Retro Ready One in there. And that's all we got in there at the moment. Um, but I also I also got Amiga Workbench 314 loaded up. I haven't upgraded to 3141 yet. But it's a work in progress. I'm documenting it all. It's going to be a video on the Guru Meditation. If you go to youtube.com slash the Guru Meditation, I'll probably launch the video like in January. Because I've got one more I want to finish before the end of the year. So I kind of like a, a year end type video, sort of. <laughs> and then I'm going to document this, this, this beast right here. It, now I'm going to like document the whole process of making it. So it's going to be multiple parts. So first part is like putting it in the new case, putting on the compact flash card, doing the keycaps, that kind of stuff. And then as I do things to this 1200, I'll just make a video about it. So I can keep them short and sweet, bite-sized nuggets. It's a real beauty, right, Ash? It's beautiful. I love it. Dr. Mitzler. I love the PAL because now I don't have to hold down the two mouse buttons anymore. <laughs> Fire up that scar, you know it, Vincent GR. The dark keys, I know, I love, the, the cool thing about the dark keys, is it's hard to see here, but there's black keys and there's gray keys, and I just love the contrast between the, the, the black keys and the gray keys, and the contrast between the black keys and like the very dark gray case. It's gorgeous. Now these arrow keys, I could have made them gray as well. But I want black because in person when you look at it, I didn't want like gray case, like dark gray case and lighter gray keys. I just went like dark gray case, black keys, you know, black and gray. Just kept the whole black gray thing going there. Am Amiga Love, I think you're allowed to whistle at Amigas in 2019. As long as your intention, you know, if your heart is in the right place, it's okay. <laughs> Cobrian, yes, those are the finished keycaps from Kickstarter batch number one. I know some people are still, still haven't received it. If you, like if you did like an odd color, you might not have gotten your keycaps yet from batch number one. Um, but I don't know all the stats of the shipping. I don't know. I, I don't. I'm not. I don't work for A1200.net. But I can tell you this is from batch number one, and it's a CD32 style case and keycaps. Amiga love, thank you for the bits, my man. You are the best. <laughs> um, Cloaked Alien, you're still waiting for the CD32 case and keys. You're waiting on yours to the Swedish layout. Yeah, see, that's the thing. That's the thing. I, I just ordered the very the most common thing. I I, um, I ordered CD32 case and keys, which I think, believe it or not, was the most common one, an American keyboard. So that's why I got mine quick. And I got in on batch number one. God, getting in on batch one was key. What were the skies like when you were young? Yo, DL Martins, thank you so much for the subscription, DL Martins. I appreciate that very, very much. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the support. I hope I hope you enjoy your your time here today and uh, in the future. 
If you guys don't know who I am, or if you're know, new to the stream, I'm Bill, and I stream here on Twitch about once a week. About once a week. I do Amiga news and play Amiga games and do all sorts of Amiga stuff. I also have a YouTube channel I do with my buddy Anthony called The Guru Meditation. It's youtube.com slash The Guru Meditation. And I run an Amiga user group in Westchester County, New York. Meet on the first Thursday of every month. We had our meeting last week. It was it was a blast. It was good. It was good. It was the day I built this. It was amazing. <laughs> it was a great time. We've been meeting since 1988. Never stop. Never will. Yo, White Rowey, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I know that little fluffy cow sample. It's cool, right? Oh, you, you might go for an ATX style A4000 build? That would be cool too, man. That would, that's a, that's a, that would be a great build too. You think all the Swedish layouts are batch number two? Gotcha, gotcha. Epic Android is not a guru, but we will be glad to meditate. Epic Android, everyone is welcome here. I'm not even a guru, to be honest with you. I'm just relearning the Amiga myself. There's so many people here in chat that know a lot more about Amiga than I do. I'm just, I'm just a joker who goes, who goes on camera. <laughs> like I'm good at making videos and and producing. I'm good at like organizing people, getting groups together. That's that's my purpose here. Bring the community together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Malik, I wish I could, I wish I could. Um, that's one thing I want to upgrade. I want to have it easy to show you the songs. But this is uh, Jungle Love by Hoffman. Legend, legend. And I'm playing it from my, this is the first time, man. The first time this baby is uh, is playing some tunes. I love it. Relearning is stupid fun always. Cloaked, I couldn't agree more. I'm having a blast. You know, I walked away from Amiga, not walked away, but I didn't use it as much from like 1999 to like 2010, 2011. Those were the dark ages. And then, and then like 2011, 2012, I was like, you know what? I gotta start, I can't forget my Amiga, I gotta keep keep up to date with the Amiga, and then all of a sudden, Retro went crazy, and, and here we are. Oh, you got the clear case? Nice, Dr. Mitzler. Aw, oh, thank you, Fishbot, thank you. <laughs> Super kind words, my man. But I mean, how beautiful is this Amiga? It's awesome. Alright, let's do a little Amiga news. There's not much um, news, I'm not gonna go through much news, because I do want to get to the, the, the demo, the Retro Bones, uh, Icarus Rising demo. Verge World Icarus Rising. I want to get to that quick, but let, let me bang through some news real quick. All right, let me switch over here. Let's see what we got. Yes, we had our Westchester Amiga user group meeting. I can't show you pictures from the meeting because I didn't post them yet. That's something I'll post tomorrow. I'm so behind. It's like so much content. So much content has, content has been created. <laughs> um, let me see if I can. I might be able to show you something here though. Let's go here. Um, I will go. I'll just give you like a little bit of personal news first. Where are we going here? Photos. Let me go to, there we go, the albums. So, so on Saturday and Sunday, we had our Vintage Computer Federation Festivus. Vintage Computer Federation is the same computer club that puts on VCF East. And my goal, my goal was to, you know, build this computer for the, for the Festivus so I could show it off at the, at our holiday party and, and there it is I had the there she is all strapped in ready to go with my 10A4S monitor and there she is in action we had some Xmas lemmings going it was the Xmas party so you know had to holiday party had to get some Xmas lemmings going but yeah it was working working like a champ there's my monster joystick right there <laughs> I told you it was a big hit charging some VHS batteries but yeah this was super awesome my man Thierry from Megavideo.net playing some worthy Rocking the VHS camcorder. It was it was a really great party. Yeah, watching some Ghost Town. He's got an 060 inside his 1200. Lucky dog. He's got the Blizzard. Rocking some human traffic. There there we are playing the the VHS on the screen, <laughs> making sure the VHS camera worked. It did. It was awesome. But yeah, it was a great party. Drinking some Polish pivo. Peach Jiviets. Nylapsha pivo. Mm. Um, we had awesome. They set up lots of really cool stuff. With this is like all the console set up. Nintendo, Genesis, TurboGrafx-16, uh, Magnavox, the Odyssey, they had a whole bunch of them. And of course, they're all on CRTs that our man Ian Primus restored. Me and Bill Lang, Bill, Bill pops into these every now and then, he pops into these streams every now and then. He had his Atari 600 there, and he was like, 
he was networking with it, man. He was like, he was going online with his with his Atari. He had some kind of crazy Arduino build that he's been uh, documenting on Twitter. So uh, we'll, I'll get more detail about that. Um, so Florin, my plan for this 1200 is to get a Warp 1260. I'm on the Warp 1260 list because I really want no 60 badly so I can play all the demos. But right now I've got the ACA 1233N inside of it and I really love the ACA 1233N. It's awesome, it's awesome. And uh, the mo for the monitor, okay, for the monitor, for the monitor I did at the party, for the 1084S monitor, I just went Amiga RGB, no SCART involved. I'm using SCART for the stream, but for when I for this actual setup here, it's just directly into the 1084S, because the 1084S can do PAL or NTSC. Dude, it was Monkey Island, and it was hooked up with the Roland MT32 on this portable computer that I'd never seen before. It was really sweet. It sounded amazing. Someone cheer the anonymous cheer. Thank you so much for the bits, whoever that was. I appreciate that very, very much. Head wound, do you like the pictures? I wasn't really playing on showing these pictures. I just kind of like went for it. You know what I mean? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I want to be a pirate. You know it, Epic Android. It, it, it sounded awesome on that Roland. It sounded so good. An IBM P70. Uh, it, it may have been. It may have been. I'm not. I don't. I can't. I'm feel like a jerk. I can't remember the name of that computer. Like an idiot. There he is. There's Bill 600 XL. And he, like he was. Uh, he basically did like a Wi-Fi hotspot on his phone and then uh, dialed into a server with it. So, yeah, there it is. He's got the little the little Wi-Fi Arduino going on there. It's it's a really sweet setup he had going. I'm gonna have to. I really. I I need to do a stream with Bill and Pete Team Atari. Ms. Pac-Man on the uh, 130XE. I love these Atari drives stacked up. It was super fun. This was super cool. Doom on this portable computer with the orange and black monitor. It was rad. Yo, what's up, Amigos of Retro Gaming? We, so we've got Boat and the Devil Bunny in the chat. Amigos, it is great to have you here. Thank you for stopping by, guys. I hope all is well. Oh, that's the IBM P70. Got it. Got it. That, it's kind of portable. Nice. You've got one of those, nice. The orange and black monitor, oh, the, okay, got it. The orange and black monitor one is the IBM uh, P70. This is the IBM P70 we're looking at right here. Got it, got it. I can't remember what the one with Monkey Island was on it. That's the computer, I'm pretty sure that wasn't an IBM. This is definitely an IBM. Th so this is Ian, Ian is amazing. He's the one that restores all the CRT monitors in the club and he's really, really good at it. So someone gave him a Hello Kitty monitor as a gift. It's a freaking cool monitor. I actually think the pink Hello Kitty monitor would go rad with uh, with the black 1200. It'd be a cool color combo. There's Theory, my man from AmigaVideo.net. Theory's a great guy, man. I, I love that guy right there. Love him. One of my best buds. There's Theory. We got we got Doug. We got the other Bill, who's a mainframe expert there. These guys all work on the computers in the museum down at Infowage Science Center. Awesome, awesome, awesome people. There's Jeff, one of the, the head honchos of the VCF. Jeff's a super great guy. Love that guy. More, he's this mega fan. John is a crazy mega fan. He's awesome. He's got some great ideas for videos he wants me to do too. This thing was amazing. Okay, I thought the music was loud, but it's not. This thing was amazing. He was loading uh, these programs from this, this punch tape. And this was, um, it was, I have a video of it. It looks, it's so sweet. So this is uh, an LGP30 desk computer. It's normally like the size of the entire like folding table, but he took the just the control panel part and like gutted the control panel part and put it's neither an Arduino or a Pi in it, and he's like emulating it. It's a really really cool uh, project that he did. That's what the original computer looks like. It's massive, and he he consolidated it down to that. It was super super sweet. There he is. What a great project. And that tape loader was just super super rad. That thing was so much fun. Amigos Retro Gaming, well, I'm so glad that you were able to catch me live. Thank you for coming. You've got a 30 megabyte, megabyte disc in it, and they're not easy to get in Denmark. Gotcha, Miss GK. It is mega sweet. Amigos, I, I agree. You'll take any kind of computer with big Illuminate multicolor buttons? Nice. All your bay belong to us. I love playing some Genesis. I haven't played Genesis in a while. I, 
I got the music a little loud. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah, so I mean, it was just a great party. Tons of Nintendo stuff, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, the Famicom itself. I, how awesome are those discs? Those Nintendo discs from Japan? Freaking gorgeous, the Famicom discs. Amazing stuff. Turbo Graphics 16. I, I used to love Turbo Graphics 16. But yeah, it was. There's the Odyssey. It was. Uh, it was an awesome party. What can I say? Tac 2. Love the Tac 2. It was freaking rad. Great party. Lots of lots of great people. Lots of smiling faces. All documented by AmigaVideo.net on VHS. We had the battle of the retro cameras. <laughs> it was good. Fairy Tale Adventure with the map. That is just awesome. I love Fairy Tale Adventure. One of my favorite Amiga games. The Stooges, of course. Yo, Amigos Retro Gaming. Um, Amigos is asking how I find the music I can play and not be muted after the fact. I'm using, you know, music that is made by Amigans, and they don't copyright it. Also, Twitch is a little bit more liberal about that than, than YouTube, but usually, like, mod files off an Amiga are not copywritten. So, yeah, it was, it was a great party. What can I say? Great party. Andy Amiga 7 it is a pleasure to have you. Andy was at the Westchester Amiga User Group meeting. Andy and I are going to do a rad demo in January. So if you happen to be in the New York City area on the first Thursday of January, I think it's January 2nd, you can come catch Andy and I rock out a great Amiga demo. All right, let's see what's going on here. Boom. Um, let's go over to here. Boom. Let's head over to Indie Retro News. Tiny Little Slug, an upcoming Amiga platformer from Slammy and XPLRA, looks so much better. In August of this year, we gave everyone the heads up regarding an upcoming Amiga game from Slammy and XPLRA called Tiny Little Slug, a game that looked to feature not just lovely graphics, but gameplay that everyone in the family could enjoy. Well, a time has moved on since then, and after another heads up from XPLRA, we've been told Tiny Little Slug is not only at its final stage of testing, but thanks to player feedback, the game looks, plays, and sounds better than ever. According to the team behind the game, and from what we can see in the video, the last update video is now a few months old, and they decided to post a new one, including overhauled and uh, overhauled changes. These changes include Final Slug Design, Checkpoint Viewpoints, now having visual feedback, more visible animations such as switches, level, go level difficulty adjustments, the removal of the heat wave replaced with parallax, and much, much more. Dude, I can't wait. I can't. Well, you know we'll be playing this. Oh, excuse me. Yo, Florin9895, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate that very, very much, Florin. Yes, Retrofox, that is from the VCF. Those pictures were from the VCF Festivus. So the VCF Festivus is basically like the holiday party for the club that puts on VCF East. It's a little bit more inside. It's more for like folks who are involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the club and folks who exhibit at VCF East. But you know, anyone can, can go really. But it's not it's not advertised publicly like VCF East. Final slug let's let's check let's check it out. You know. Final Slug Design. <laughs> we have Final Slug. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Final Slug. Lots of chatter and make it literally four. Oh, this looks great. Checkpoints have visual feedback. Ooh, nice. That is a nice touch. I can't wait to play this one. Okay, so the important stuff was hard to see. Now they've animated them a bit. Now they're visible. First section with the bees is now much easier. 90% of the people were struggling. Yeah, it's hard to dial in the difficulty level on these games. It's, you gotta ease people in. You gotta whet their appetite, get them excited for the game, and then boom, then you can hit them with the difficulty stuff. Yo, boat of car. 
with 100 bits for covering slug-based platformers. Thank you, Boat. <laughs> Boat, it's a pleasure to have you, man. Thank you for all the support, buddy. Dude, Boat, you know what would be amazing? If you could make it to MAGFest, that would be incredible. Washington, D.C., first weekend in January. I'll be there. Along with Ace Man, I got my, my Polish demo scene friends are going to fly in for it as well. They're having a demo party there, along with Inverse Phase. Amiga will be live and well. Spambot, Final Slug vs. Metal Slug Wend. <laughs> That's a good one. Good one, Spambot. This looks awesome. I'll put I'll, so I'll post um the tiny little slug. I can't wait. Can't wait for this game. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna post a link to tiny little slug. There you go. Boom. What else we got here in the Amiga news? A another one and from Indie Retro News. Although this one was also given to me personally from my man Jeremy at Double Sided Games. Double Sided Games announces a triple game whammy. Whammy! For 2020. I love me a whammy. <laughs> Double Sided Games announced a triple game whammy for 2020. Don't, don't break, don't break, <laughs> don't break the balls. <laughs> okay. Uh, Super Metal Hero, Hired Sword, JJ. With 2020 fast approaching, it doesn't come as a surprise to us to see developers and or publishers announcing new games. As sure enough that has had just happened with our personal favorite publishers, Double Sided Games, a company that so far has released Black Dawn Rebirth, La Abbe de Morts, Vegetables Deluxe, and Realms of Quest 5. They are no stranger to the Amiga Bill streams. We've had Jeremy on, we've had Sean on. Double Sides comes on these streams all the time, and they're, they'll have to bring. Uh, they'll, they'll, hopefully, they'll be back again. Uh, the news announcement of today is they've just gone and announced Hired Sword 2 for the Commodore 64. Don't break the balls for the Commodore 64, <laughs> and Super Metal Hero for the Amiga. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hired Sword 2 is a top down RPG with racy humor. The game, according to the description, is written, designed, and coded by Roy Riggs. While sound and music are made by Mike Richmond. Mike was on the stream as well. Vegetables Deluxe All Star. Explore Catazanos and Glamorol through 20 maps and 9 dungeons to find the elusive elf. Eka. Ekaterina. <laughs> the weapons and armor are randomly generated. A thousand plus combinations. The game will be available in March 2020 for the Commodore 64 in a boxed and digital format. It looks sweet. Then we've got Don't Break the Balls. <laughs> Don't Break the Balls is an action puzzle game for one or two players in cooperation or duel. It is designed and coded by Emiliano Pegila with the help of Saul Cross for graphics and music sound. Saul's amazing. Saul's, Saul's a legend. Um, Controlling a fan, you need to blow the bubbles up and prevent them from bursting. Of course, the fan needs energy to work and needs to be recharged often by moving it to the sides of the screen. The game will be available later in 2020. In 2020. Wow, it's crazy to say 2020. For the Commodore 64 in boxed cartridge, box floppy, and digital format. Don't break the balls. Chris Hall's back on the high score. That's nice. <laughs> Where's Hired Swords 1? That's a great question, Amiga Love. Great question. Action puzzle game for one or two balls. All right, check this out. I mean, look at these graphics. These are amazing. Last and not least, we've got the Amiga game. Finally, the last game described on the Double Sided Games website is Super Metal Hero, a shooting action platformer with side-scrolling combined with shoot 'em up levels. The game design and graphics are made by Tenchu with the help of Michael Gibbs for programming and music. The game will be available in the fourth quarter of 2020 for the Commodore Amiga 1200 with an O30 accelerator and 4 megabytes of fast RAM in box floppy and digital format. Boom, that's what I got right here. I'm, I'm ready for this one already with my O30. It looks, those graphics look beautiful. You know we'll be having Jeremy and, and the boys on showing off this game. Amiga Love is all in on the box cart. Probably no save, just leave your machine on for days, like the old days. Yes, yes, Amiga Love. Yo, Retro Bench. So there's the Retro Bench in the chat. And like I mentioned before, this gorgeous machine.
that I'm about to play a brand new Amiga game on has got its guts are from the retro bench. Newly recapped Amiga 1200 PAL inside this gorgeous CD32 style case. Retro bench, I did a whole video about the, the transformation, about moving your motherboard from the old case into the new case and replacing the keycaps. That, that video will probably be out like the very beginning of January. Because I got one I gotta make before that. <laughs> I'm behind, man. I'm behind. I don't have enough time. I need I need more time to edit. Retro Bench, thank you so much for this. If you guys if you guys want amazing Amiga service, go to retrobench.com. He's one of the best in the business. Let me do it right now. Buy awesome stuff at retrobench.com, the future was 8bit.com, and retro ready one. Where is he? There's Retro Bench. Enter the shop. He's got all kinds of great stuff. There's caps. He's got cap kits. He's got PCMC out of compact flash adapters. He's got all kinds of rad stuff. I got actually I'll talk to you about a GoTech. <laughs> it looks fantastic, right? Retro Bench. Nice, nice. Boat of Car says Retro Bench is awesome. Thanks again for sponsoring the Amigathon. Oh, I didn't even realize they sponsored Amigathon. Retro Bench is awesome. Your ex-wife should learn that game. Hilarious, uh, Delamort. Yeah, I'm super, I'm super psyched. This is probably your fa favorite case setup. I'm super psyched for it. And of course, this crappy little webcam does not do it justice. I got some really good shots of it when I made the video. All right. Is that all? I think that's all the news I got. Oh, I got to Let me, um... Let me put this link for you. New new double sided games. Boom. So that, that'll actually that'll link you to the indie retro news article. And then let's see, can you let me get a link to double sided games. Boom. Yo, what's up, Amiga DJ? Great to see you, my man. It's a pleasure to have you. Um, Delmore, you have three Amiga 1200s to recap. You should have at least one at the end of it. Oh man, I feel you, I feel you. That's why I went to Retro Bench, you know? Whoops, wrong one. Take two. There you go. You haven't done that recapping yet? Maybe you want to like practice. Maybe you want to practice on something that's not your Amiga. You know what I mean? All right, guys. So check it out. I've seen I've seen rumors of this game floating around the internet. I've seen lots of posts about it. It's called Verge World Icarus Rising. I, there were even some rumblings. One of the members of the team is in my Discord channel. And there was chatter about this game for the past several months now. It's got a very, very unique look. Look, I'm going to stream the game today, apparently. <laughs> um, so they've got a new game coming out. It's called Verge World Icarus Rising by Retro Bones. And they just released a demo of it. Now, the demo is part of Retro Comp Magazine. Uh, Retro Comp Magazine is sold by Amiga.net.pl. It's an awesome magazine. Amiga.net.pl is no stranger to my stream. He's an awesome guy. Adam is an amazing dude, and he um, his his Amiga store is amazing. Yo, Ash, Ash, thank you so much for the host, Ash. I appreciate it very, very much. You have a few scrap PC mobos to practice on. That's what you should definitely do, Delmore, for sure. <laughs> you won't touch your 1200s through confident. Perfect, perfect. So anyway, so the next issue of Retro Comp is going to have the demo that we're about to play of, uh, of Icarus Rising. Um, now, what's cool about this game? This game is going to run on an Amiga 500. And the unique thing is that it uses uh, this, this game engine that is uh, pretty unique. It is called the Voxel Game Engine. I had no idea what the Voxel Game Engine is, being that I'm just a dum-dum when it comes to, to game design. But basically, it's the method of displaying the image. So instead of like using simple sprites, they generate these things called voxels. It's something like pseudo three-dimensional pixels. So it's got a very, very unique and cool look. It runs on Amiga 500. 
and the game is gonna have uh, it's gonna have like a full a full uh, backstory with a very very rich storyline. So I cannot wait to check it out. Let's, let's, let's do it. This is the first game ever played on stream with my new 1200. Spoiler: Don't fly towards the sun. <laughs> Amiga Love knows what's up. Pixels, your next Amiga Bill sub anniversary is on Christmas Day. I hope you're gonna stream just for me. <laughs> Pixels, I'll I'll do something nice for you, I promise. But I can tell you, on Christmas Day, I will be uh, I'll be deep in eggnog and rum. <laughs> oh, Rezogun has got voxels. Very cool. I didn't know that. I love Rezogun. I didn't even know what a voxel was until until today. I'm still not sure I know what a voxel is. To be honest. <laughs> but let's ch let's check out some voxels. As much as I hate to do it, I need to turn off the hippo player. But I'm gonna play. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to queue up. So this now, guys, this is just a tech demo. This like the game is not gonna be like this. This is a very very early build. This is just a technology demo. So normally there'll be like a spaceship flying over this landscape that you're racing. Now in this demo, it doesn't even have the spaceship, so it's almost like a first person point of view. This is just a very early tech demo to check out the voxels. So let me. Um, they sent. A mod file that will play during the game. But being that this is just an early build, an early tech demo, I'm gonna play the mod file off of my PC while my Amiga plays the game. So at least we can get we can get in the right headspace, you know. And when Verge World comes out, it, the music will be playing in game. But for now, for now we'll have to we'll have to do it this way. Thank you, thank you, Hippo Player. Smoke the pipe. Excellent. All right, let's start playing Verge World demo mod. I'm not sure. Let me. I'm gonna turn down the sound. I'm not sure how loud it's gonna be. Sounds good, right? Oh, Quahouse says we have three different render techniques. Not sure which one will end up in the final one. Oh, so Quahouse is one of the developers right there. And Dave Retrobones is also a developer. He says it's going to work on an Amiga 500, Amiga 1200, and Amiga 3000. Sweet. You're stealing my play mods on stream gimmick? Nice, Boat. Do it, man. And it's cool because then you can like support Amiga community as well, you know? Amiga 500 is the lowest spec. Got it. Yeah, this is the mod. This, so right now we are playing the mod file from the game. Mr. Cola, what's up, buddy? I love this machine. It's so good. This music is, is uh, composed by the great Shooty. Awesome. All right, here we go. Check this out, first of all. I'm rocking some 314 for the first time. I other than like emulation, in the, my on my old PC, I mean on my old 1200, I was rocking some 314, and I could only boot into NTSC mode. It wouldn't let me like dual boot, so I had to rock 31. But now that I got the PAL machine, it's no longer an issue. This is not going to be the final look of this workbench setup, but for now, it's pretty rad. I also noticed I'm not running in interlace mode like you're supposed to just because I, I can't stand the flicker. So I just went high res. High res standard. No interlace in for Amiga Bill. Pal forever. Finally some nice icons. <laughs> yeah, these are glow icons for 314. And you'll see, and, and, and I uh, now I actually have pictures when you when you, know, when you load WHC load games. I actually have nice icons now. <laughs> You like the music spam bot? I think it's, it's rad, right? Oh, you just got your CD32. Just waiting to turn on. Nice, Mr. Cola. All right, here we go. First game. First game streamed on the new on the new machine. So there you go. Key one for Mega 500. Key two for 1200. Uh, number three for 3000. So we go key number two.
Amiga.net.pl, baby. Adam's the man. Retro Bones. Verge World, Icarus Rising, Tech Demo. Well, in the distant future, on the distant, inhospitable planet, mankind engages in one thing it knows well. War. The tyrannical corporate regime wants to enslave all inhabitants of the kingdom, humanity's new home. As a young smuggler aboard the aircraft Icarus, you want to help the oppressed by joining the revolt. But you need to prove your worth first by completing the infamous Death Run Challenge. Nice. I love the artwork, it's gorgeous. Oh, you just got an Amiga 1000? Any ideas on cool things to do with it that could be sort of unique to that system? You know, Boat of Car, you need to talk to... I mean, I have ideas, but you really need to talk to Amiga Love. He's the Amiga 1000 man. Yo, what's up, Tony Brat? What's up, Sudislav? It's got plastic over disk drive. That's hilarious. Oh, um, play the Amiga 3000, please? Oh, sorry, I'll do that. I'll do that. Um, escape. Sorry about, sorry about that. Thank you, uh... Qua House, thank you. I'm gonna reboot. Balmet, you've been trying to figure out how to set up the Pi 1541 directories? Oh, I, the Pi 1541 is a cool, cool setup. I need to do that. I've never done it myself. So I, unfortunately, I can't help you. Hey, what's up, Pints and Amiga? You can never tell when I'm on? I, I know, I'm a moving target, Pints and Amiga. I wish I could have a regular schedule, but I can't. That's life, you know what I mean? Oh, Sudislav, you can hear your unfinished music? Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to run it on 3000. You got it, Dave. No problem. I just saw I just saw the chat now. I didn't know I could run it on the 3000 on a 12 on a 1200, but I've got no 30 in here. So we, guys, we are checking out the Voxel engine uh, for a new game that's coming out called Verge World Icarus Rising. They're not sure exactly when the games will come out yet, but definitely like end of 2020 at the earliest. Sorry, so Amiga 3000 version. Each version's got a different render. Oh, got it. Awesome, Qua House. Now, th guys, this is just a tech demo. It's just a technology demo. This says, you know, this is just a, a seed. This is just the beginning of what the game is going to look like. There's still like a whole a whole lot more. <laughs> a whole lot more to come. This is a tech demo only. Yeah, all are still a work in progress, exactly. Well, thank you for popping in, Pints. I appreciate it. There was no way I could uh, watch your stream this uh, this week because we had our Vintage Computer Federation party. Holiday party it was awesome. Alright, here we go. So I love the artwork. Whoever did the artwork is did an amazing job. I love it. Comatron, my man, what is up, Coma? Oh, Kwai is saying that they're going to try and get the, the look of the Amiga 3000 on the 500. That would be sweet. After setting off the Earth in enormous... After setting off the Earth in enormous generation ships, humanity reached the nearest star system and colonized its only suitable planet, renaming it the Kingdom. The harsh environment was one problem. The ideological differences were the other. People of the Kingdom fell prey to their nature, which pushed them to the open conflict between the rain and the revolt. Now, I like the story. The the artwork is incredible. I love the artwork. The current version is pure C. Purely written in C. Nice. Hey, what's up, Oxum? You are Nyx, the pilot of Icarus who feels the urge to help the revolt in overthrowing the rain. You want to become the carrier who supplies the military units of the revolt. As carriers can move freely only in the deep canyons covering the planet, revolt wants you to prove your abilities and loyalty by bearing the route leading through narrow valleys as fast as possible. So this is like, there's gonna be different types of like gameplay in the game, and this is the racing part. Kinda like in GTA, you know, when you have races, maybe. <laughs> 
The ship's antic engine uses the planet's magnetic field to move vertically. The closer you get to the surface, the more energy is generated. This energy is converted to power and ship's propulsion engines and accelerate it. Remember, the lower you fly, the faster you go. So the lower you fly, the faster you go, but I imagine uh, the more hazards there are. Welcome back, Andy Amiga 7. Dude, I, Mr. Cole, it's, it's beautiful. The artwork's amazing. Here we go. Here we go. Some voxel engine. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm flying. I want to go lower. Oh, okay. So my instinct, you know, was to do it like... Oh, I crashed. Maybe piloting the aircraft wasn't your strongest trait. It, it probably isn't. So it's... It's, um... Basically up goes up and down goes down. It's, I was expecting, you know, opposites. Oh, pull up. <laughs> pull up. You know, like when you when you pilot, you know, down is up and up is down. This is up is up, down is down. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fly up here. Okay, stay low. You want to stay low? Ooh, I love the water. Stay. I'm flying through the cabin here. I want to come down lower. Oh, I. Oh man, I hit the I hit the left edge there. It looks sweet though. Here we go. Higher. Let's get higher. Boom. Down. Okay, now I got it. I keep wanting to pull down to go up. Here we go. Dude, it looks sweet. I I'm loving the look of this game, guys. There we go again. I was pushing up. Pushing up. Up, 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 up. There we go. Left, left. Okay, cool. There looks like some some ice. Oh, here we go. Boom. I'm going to come this way. Here we go. All right, I'm getting the feel for it now. Come down. Get closer. Charge up the magnetic energy. The gravitational energy. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. I came really low there. Oh, it tizzed but a scratch. And I like at the bottom, it shows you your score. So the longer you go, the higher your score. I did the down up thing. Um, it shows you your speed, your height, and the time. This is sweet. Oh, whoa, I, that was a narrow escape. I thought for sure I was gonna crash there. All right, let's go lower. Get up some speed. Here we go, up, up, pull up, pull up, pull up, nice. Remember an F-16 Falcon? I used to love Falcon on the Amiga. That was like one of my favorite games. I don't know how I survived that one. I got very lucky there. Now I know they, the guys mentioned that normally where those two lines are, like you'll see your spaceship. So it's a third person view of the spaceship in the final game. But they didn't, they didn't uh, render the spaceship for this tech demo. So right now it's almost like a first person perspective. To be honest, I kind of like the first person perspective. It's pretty cool. I'm in it, I'm in it. Up, 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 pull up, pull up. So anyway, I was saying Falcon, F-16 Falcon was one of my favorite games on my 500. I used to love Falcon. And then like when you used to like crash and you used to like start nose diving towards the ground, that voice would go, pull up, pull up, pull up. And I'm trying, I can't. They're all, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man. Oh, left, 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 right, down. Come on, come on. It's getting a little hectic, pull up, pull up. Let's go right. I'm just kind of steering away from the lighter colors and I'm going towards the bottom, going towards the darker ground colors to get up as much speed as possible. Let's see if I can come down here in this cavern. It's like the, uh, oh, we're coming on to some, whoa, there's some ice here. Let's go over here. Oh, that, that's cool. That color scheme looks like ball blaster. Love it. You know, obviously it's got uh, some Star Wars vibes, you know, going onto the Death Star, dropping bombs, blowing up that Death Star. That's what it reminds me of a little bit. Except you're on like a desert planet. With canyons. Sweet. Let's get some speed up. Oh, pull up. Now, it's... Just because I'm a crappy gamer, it's a little bit hard for me to, to read the data at the bottom and, and play. Well, about time. <laughs> no, uh, now stop wasting our time and scram. Nice. Mr. Cola is psyched. He said it reminds him of an older sci-fi movie, like what you'd see on a pilot's HUD. It, it's cool, right, Mr. Cola? You control the Corsair. It's not a position of the craft. Got it, got it. Antic Engine, you thought this was an Amiga game. Hilarious, boat. Um... Vinto has always had a weak spot for voxels. Nice. Yo, Santi Dark G. What is up, buddy? Welcome to the stream, Santi. It's great to see you. 
it would work better with an accelerator i've got an 030 in here i've got an 030 i've got the aca 1233n yeah i know hopefully i have my warp 1260 by the time it comes out that would be amazing i'm on i'm on the list for the warp 1260. you'll die a lot nice Dude, Pints and Amiga, I would love to get together. I It's a shame because I worked in Austin a lot before I met you. So I need to get back to Austin so we can hang. I would love to. It would be, it'd be fun, man. I, lo I love beer. Thank you, Santi. I'm so I'm so excited. Santi, you're psyched for the game? Nice, dude. Yeah, I'm definitely waiting for that Warp 1260. I can't wait. You love the Comanche vibe? Oh, yeah, totally. Amiga DJ, this will run on the Amiga 500, yes. But I'm running it on the 1200 right now with O30 Accelerator. It's got three modes, a 500 mode, a 1200 mode, and a 3000 mode. Your Amiga 2000's 030 40MHz is drooling to try this. It'll run on ECS. Yes, it will, Amiga Love. Balmut, I would love to... I, the Pi 1541 is a really cool thing, man. I hope you get it working right. I wish I could help you more. I just... I don't have one myself, so I can't... I can't help. But someone in the chat might. It's great, Omix. Try the A1200 to get more frames. Nice. Restart the music. The music loops in half. Okay. Oh, the blue part was the end. You need to get above uh, one minute points to win. Got it. Got it. it yes, uh, Gunner, it will run on Amiga 500 with the ACD 500 Plus. I, Pints, I do need a beer. I'm going to grab a beer. I need to go faster and lower. I know, I was scared. <laughs> It needs over 30 megahertz to run at full res. Got it. You'll get more frames on the A1200. Yo, Dan, 24 frames per second. Thank you so much for the follow, Dan. I appreciate it. If you're just joining the stream, we are playing Verge World Icarus Rising. It is just a tech demo for an Amiga game that is going to be coming out possibly by the end of 2020. So this is a very early sneak peek of the engine. I'll run it in the 1200 mode now. Now, one, one casualty is... I don't think my right Amiga key is is working properly. I haven't really had time to test this 1200 very well, but I think um, I might need to do a little repair on the membrane or get a new membrane. I'm doing great, Dan. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well, too. It looks awesome, right? The minimum specs for this game will be an Amiga 500 with one megabyte of RAM. The resolution will be lower. Got it. Pints, I'm gonna grab a beer. I'm gonna play one more round and then I'm gonna grab a beer. I've got I've got a, a Jivietz waiting. I got a Jivietz cooking in the fridge. Thank you for stopping by, Pints and Amiga. I appreciate it. This is my first stream from my my new Amiga 1200. Everyone's like, dude, they make new 1200s. I'm like, no, not really, but it's new to me. <laughs> So, so I have the I've got the mod on loop. Play it again. I'm not sure why it, it loops only half of it. I apologize for that. Dang you! I'm, I'm playing off of Winamp. Maybe that's why. Qua House, yeah, I know. You guys like the Javits? I know you guys are Polish, and my my wife is Polish. That's why I, I go to Ami Party and all that all that good stuff because we go to Poland every year. And Adam, man, Adam's Polish. Adam's a great guy. Oh, nice! You're getting close to 300 subs. Format changes and Skype guests and streams. You should be guests. Dude, Pints, I'll definitely come on for sure. I would love to, man. I love coming on uh, streams. It's nice to come on other people's streams. I'm not as stressed out. I just kind of like hang out. <laughs> Dan's Amiga 3000 died after 25 years. But as a consolation, I just scored an Amiga 3000 Tower. Super stoked to work great. Dude, the Amiga 3000 Tower is, a, is one of my favorite, it's like my favorite looking Amiga. I love it. Oh, sending love to my Polish wife. Junkulia Barzo. I think the Verge devs, I know at least one of the, I know a couple of the Verge devs are definitely from Poland. I don't know if they all are. 
yeah, dude, I'll definitely come on anytime, Pints. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely have uh, plenty of beer ready to go. Hey, what's up, Tanner? Thanks for stopping in. We are playing. Oh wow! Holy cow! It's way faster. So this is a tech demo of a of an Amiga game that's coming out possibly by the end of 2020. It's called Verge World Icarus Rising, and this is the the racing part of the game. It's kind of like uh you know racing in GTA. Wow! It's yeah the 1200 version is like way faster. Oh man, we thought <laughs> who taught you to fly? You bum. You're drinking too much Jiviots when you're flying that plane. I've got a, uh, I've got Krupnik, I got Krupnik in the cupboard. I've got Jiviots in the refrigerator. What else do I have? Uh, I've got Jabrufka. I've got um, Jabrufka Charney. I've got Biawi Jabrufka. Oh 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 oh! See, I'm so I'm trying to stay low. Left, left. Let's go a little bit lower. Now, the thing I'm curious about, I wonder, will you guys um, keep the controls as they, oh man, as they are, or will you have it so when you pull back on the stick, the the spaceship rises? Because I I could get used to this, but you know, what, normally like when I fly in a game, it's you know pull down on the stick to ascend and then push forward to descend. So, you know, I'm not sure what the right call is on that, to be honest with you. That's just what I'm used to. Boom. Oh, yeah. Stay low. Then we got some ice. I love the, the look. is really cool. And I love the uh, the graphics in between levels. It's beautiful. So, um, so Icarus team, there's uh, some, Pol some of my friends from Poland are coming to visit in January. Ace Man is coming to visit. At the demo party that is at Magfest, Ace Man will be here, Faye will be here, and usually Argusek comes too. I'm not sure if Argusek is gonna come this year or not, but I know Ace Man and Faye are definitely coming. I hope Argusek comes. I love that guy. I gotta stay lower. I gotta stay lower. The problem is when you go low, there's like so many more hazards. I can wimp out. I can wimp out and stay up high and avoid the hazards, but then you know I don't go fast enough because you gotta you gotta harness the the power of the gravity. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, here's the blue part. Stay low. Boom. Oh, I hit the I hit the water. Dang, I thought I was at the end. Bowls, bowls vodka. I love bowls vodka. It's great. And so pizza is great too. Where do you learn? I never learned to fly. It's the problem, poetic android. Oh, um, so abundant. I'm flying low because the lower you are, the faster you go, and it's a race. So like when you fly low, you get more of a gravitational force to propel you forward. So you want to like fly low to have maximum speed, but then there's also more hazards there. I'm not sure I ever had that that vodka, Dario. I drink lots of Soplitza when I visit my in-laws in, in Lublin. Oh, okay. So, Quile says, do you control the crosshair because you'll be shooting enemies in the full game? Oh my god. Dude, if you're like racing and shooting the enemies, that'd be crazy. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not sure about that one. You know what I did have when I was at Ami Party? I had the homemade, the homemade moonshine vodka. It's crazy. They called it Antifreeze. <laughs> Pulling back to go up makes sense, especially in the first person. Yeah, spam bot, I agree. It reminds you of Captain Blood, totally. Dave, you're still tweaking. The controls are great, Dave. I think if you just flip um, up and down, it'll be perfect. Oh, nice, dude. You had Doug from um, 10 Minute on. You had Retrobox Rom. You had Fair Fight 14 on. All Skype guests on the stream. Good time. Awesome pints. Yeah, I'll come on for sure. Dave says you need to stay low. Trust him, it's worth it. Come to uh, Xenium Demo Party in September for some good Jiviots. Oh, I would love to. Uh, Tanner, I'm running this on Amiga 1200, and it's
and it's got an 030 accelerator on it. Uh, what am I running at? 40 megahertz? 45 megahertz? And it's got 140 megs of RAM. Yo, Boat of Car, thank you so much for the, the subscription, Boat. I appreciate that very much, buddy. Keep up all the great work at the Amigos Pod... Keep up all the great work at the Amigos Retro Podcast. If you guys aren't following Pints and Amiga, if you're not following the Amigos uh, Podcast on YouTube and here on Twitch, you're missing out. I highly recommend you follow the Amigos. They've been they've been at it for a very, very long time. They're two super cool guys. I've been a guest on their podcast. I love the Amigos. They stream every Friday here on Twitch. If you guys want to throw your link down in the chat, go for it. And Pints, if you want to throw your link down, uh, go for it too, dude. You are dead. The Revolt won't have any use of you in this state. <laughs> right, I'm going to do one more run here, and then I'm going to grab a beer. And cheers to these guys who are working really hard on, on this game. Yeah, so um, yeah, so guys, my, my wife is from Lublin, and my, my family, my, my dad's family is from Krakow. So I'm, I'm half Polish. Well, quarter Polish, technically, but I'm Polish and Italian. Oh yeah, dodging. Stay low, stay low. All right, pull up, pull up, pull up. Just go down, 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 down. So, th Dan, I think the controls are really good. My instincts are just, my instincts are just to, like pull down on the stick to to go up, and you know, like I got a flight simulator. I have no idea if that's like a hard thing to change or an easy thing. I am dead. The Amigos are cool guys, Pines, I agree. Amigos podcast is awesome, you know Mr. Cola. The game is running su super smooth, it's a very exciting project, I agree. I mean, how awesome is it that people are making like new games for the Amiga in 2019 and 2020? It's incredible. Uh, try the 500 just to see how poor it looks for now, sure. Tanner suggesting it'd be cool with some more visual aid when getting close to the wall or ground, like the side of the screen glowing or something to indicate that you're pushing it. Yeah, Tanner, that's I agree. That that's a good suggestion. Uh, Quad House, I'm using uh, I'm using my my Monster Mini joystick. All um, arcade parts, all Sanwa arcade parts. Poland is very cool, Pines and Amiga. I love Poland. I've been there almost 20 times. I think I've been there like 18 or 19 times now. Tanner, this music is is from the game. Yes, so it's not. It will play in-game eventually, but for now I'm just playing it off my PC because it's just a tech demo, so there's no music in the demo. But this is the music that was composed um, by the composer of the game. Sudislav, he's in the chat. I'm sorry if it's not looping properly. <laughs> So you can see what else I was playing on streaming today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for getting me this demo. So this demo is um, being released to the public with the latest issue of RetroComp magazine. You can pick up RetroComp from Amiga.net.pl. I'm not sure where else you can get it from. All right, so this is the Amiga 500 version. And I don't know which one of you guys did the artwork, but it's it's beautiful. And I love how the artwork in between, you know, the cuts in the cutscenes. Whoa, it's fast. It it vibes. It vibes with the voxel engine. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's so fast. Whoa. I don't know how I survived that one. It's so fast. Total concentration. Look at this, look at this, I'm, I'm like freaking Maverick here. Rocking it out, baby. 
dodge him, dodge it, dodge it. Stay low, stay low. Get that gravity. Get the gravitational force. Use the force. Feel it, feel it. Stay low, stay low. Low and fast is what we want. Woo, yes. We made it to the end. I think we made it to the end. Ball blaster level. Whoa, look out. I like the speed. I like the fast version. I like it a lot. So, boom. I completed it. Boom. Boom. Sudis Lab is the composer. OCS for the win. Yeah, dude. Hey, what's up, Yeti Dynamics? Yeti, thank you so much for the follow. I saw you follow not too far um, before the stream. Thank you, Yeti. Thank you so much for the follow. The Amiga 500 version runs much better. Amiga 500 for the win. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, this this demo will be a free download, but for now you can buy it with a retro comp uh, on a floppy disk. Nice, dude. OCS for the win. Tanner, it's a great question. I'm not sure. Thank you for the link, uh, Qua House. Thank you very much. Qua House is one of the devs. Yes, yes. I got uh, 0 0.6 minutes. Is that is that good? I think it's, it's pretty good, right? So I'll tell you what, guys. I'm gonna um, I need to play the viewer requested games, but before I do that, I'm gonna grab a beer to toast uh, the guys who are working really hard on this game. I'll play another round of this game, and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. I promise. Alright gents, thank you so much for letting me stream the demo of your game, it's an honor. I raise a glass of Zhivyets, Polish Pivo, in your honor. Congrats on the game, uh, you're doing great work. Thanks to everyone who's making new games in you know, 2019 and 2020 in, on the, for the Amiga, keeping our beloved machine alive. This is super cool, I love the artwork's amazing, the gameplay is super fun, I know it's only going to get like much better from here. So, Nastrovier, Stolat. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so much good Amiga stuff coming out of Poland. It's like, it's amazing. The Warp 1260, crashing stuff from, um, I can't remember the name of this company. I'm fucking idiot. Rasport. <laughs> let's, play, let's play one more round here. Here we go. You know what I'll do? I'll do the, um, we'll do the 500. I love the speed. I love the speed of the 500. Whoa. <laughs> that did have to hurt. Nostrovia, guys. Thank you so much. The game is super fun. I, I mean, and this is just a demo. Like, I can't imagine what it's going to be like when you have to, like, shoot enemies. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. And I, I assume there's going to be, uh, other, other variations as well. Besides just the flying through the caverns. I think you mentioned there's going to be uh, other game modes as well. But even if it's just flying through the caverns and shooting stuff, like, that's cool. <laughs> like, I like to fly through caverns and shoot stuff. This is awesome. I love the speed. The speed's crazy. 
again i think if you just swap the controls so pulling down on the joystick ascends then it'd be perfect I, some people might some people might like this better like i know you know like when i play like gta and stuff with a controller you can like choose the orientation of um the controller so like up goes up or like, up goes down but when i'm flying i'm just so i have so much muscle memory of pulling up to to ascend but see i'm already getting used to it and it's so funny because when i played this 500 version i don't have as much time to think and my reflexes, for some reason, just take over, and I can fly it better. But when it's, the game's running slower, I start thinking about it up, down, and I get messed up. So here we go, boom. What's my what's my time? What's my time? I thought that was the end. I'm dead. Oh no, that was awesome. You'll do the control type setting just because I asked for it. Oh, nice, Squaw House. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Junkulia Bartizo. Yeah, Pi Gravity, I agree. Once they optimize it with assembly uh, code, all their draw distances are going to be really sweet. It's going to be awesome, dude. Yeah, I, th that speed that speed might be impossible in the 500. It depends, I guess, how much they, they gimp it. But nothing, nothing is impossible. The things I've seen some crazy stuff that I never thought was possible. <laughs> um, let me navigate here. So check it out, guys. So I was just playing the, uh, the demo of Verge World Icarus Rising. If you want to follow these guys and follow the development of the game, give them suggestions, play future demos. Go follow them on Facebook. I just dropped a link into the chat. Um, that is the Retro Bones Facebook page where they'll be posting updates to the the game. Go give them a follow and uh, and yeah, keep up the great work, guys. That was that was awesome. That demo is available at Amiga.net.pl in the latest issue of Retro Comp Magazine, and it's going to be available as a digital download to, for everyone in the not too distant future. Invent 71 says top notch Retro Bones. If you guys don't know who Invent 71 is. He's a uh, legend. He was the graphic artist on Reshooter. I wish you guys as much luck as the guys from Reshooter had because Reshooter, Reshooter just blows my mind. That is one of my Reshooter is like one of my all-time favorite games right now on any platform. I love Reshooter. Kev, you guys crushed it, buddy. You crushed it. There's, this one's got a lot of potential too. I love it. You guys did an amazing job. Barzofania, Barzofania. Dave, the pleasure is, is mine, dude. The pleasure is mine. Thank you for getting me a copy of the game. Excuse me, a copy of the demo. Quah House, the pleasure is mine. If you guys, like, for, like, the next build, if you guys, like, want to come on the stream and do, like, a little interview, I'd, I'd love to have you on. It'd be a blast. Folks uh, really enjoy streams when we get to like interview the developers and I always learn a lot I learned a lot today I've learned a lot if you guys come on it'd be, it'd be super fun pro shabarzo claw house pro shabarzo Marek for experience I, I'm, I'm playing I am playing a Polish game and I'm drinking Polish beer I'm speaking Polish and I even I this game is made in Poland, like my wife. <laughs> my wife is from Poland as well, that's why. Hence the strong Polish connection, and my ancestors are from Poland as well. Spambot makes a great point. That tech demo looks pretty polished for a tech demo. Agreed, agreed. You guys are coming back in January with an amazing piece. Awesome, Quiet House. You, got, you gotta come on the stream. You are invited. And the music is great, too. I, I love the music. I'm sorry if it didn't loop properly. I was using old school Winamp to play that. I never used Winamp to play a mod file before. I've only used my Amiga. Yeah, I'm playing it on the. I'm playing the music on a uh, on Winamp. That's why Schnitz. Half the chat's in Polish. <laughs> awesome work, guys. Again, cheers, Nostrovie. Junkulia Barzo. 
Fanye, Fanye, I don't know how to say video game. I should know how to say that in Polish. Kohan Polska. I just said I love Poland. <laughs> Oh, Kalor, yes. It reminds Kalor of the landing sequence from Captain Blood. Although you're loving the look and speed of the game, for sure. Gra. Computer. Computer. Gra. Computer. It's easier, like, when my, when my wife says it, I can kind of, like, emulate her speech versus trying to, like, read it because I know you have some, like, really hard pronunciations. All right. Awesome guys, that was super sweet. That was super sweet. I gotta, I gotta move on now. But that was awesome. That was, that was a big thrill. Thank you guys so much for, for the demo and thanks for hanging out in the chat. I appreciate it very much. You understand every fifth word. I know, like, I know, like the basics of po very, very basics of Polish. Like, and when I go there, like, I learn it better. Then when I'm home for a while, I forget it. But you know, I can, I can walk into a bar, order a beer. Find the bathroom, all the important stuff. <laughs> yeah, the more the more I use it, I never see when it comes to Polish. I can't really, I can't read Polish. I can't really, I can't read the words. I only know everything by sound and like learning how to talk to my my wife's family. So these are a bunch of requested games that have been requested over the past several months. Um, in my Discord channel, I've got a new a new channel. On my Discord server, I got a new channel called Game Requests, and Trodlers and Grand Mos Monster Slam were both requested there. So I'm gonna play those first. Which what do you guys want to start with, uh, Trodlers or uh, Grand Monster Slam? I don't know. I can't so um I can't remember who suggested it. Let me see. Polish is like a weird kind of Slavic language. Polish is hard to it's, there's hard to, it's hard to learn, hard to pronounce. So Trodlers was was requested by Hippie Gnome Pi Gravity. Oh, I think Pi Gravity. I think you're here, Pi Gravity. Yeah, Pi Gravity is there. Nice, dude. Awesome. So I'll definitely start with Trodlers because Pi Gravity is here to see it. I hope I did it justice, Dave. I hope I did all right. Yo, Retro Red Rum. Retro Red Rum is Jeremy from Double Sided Games. Retro Red Rum, I hope uh, I hope you got a chance to to catch the demo. And we mentioned you. We we did your big uh, the big double sided announcement in our Amiga news. What was it? What kind of what game you coming out with? Don't break the balls. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm not going to break your balls. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so let me show you guys. The me game requests. I can go here to desktop full screen. See, here's my Discord channel. You can come over here into a me game request and request games we played on stream. There's a Pi Gravity requested Trodlers and Bobby Fat Gun, who I think is here as well, requested Grand Monster Slam. So I'm super, super psyched that both you guys, I think, are here and I get to play both these games for you. And then someone else uh, requested, what was the other game that they requested? It was before I made that channel. They requested Cadaver from the Bitmap Brothers. Cadaver is a tough one to stream because it's kind of an adventure game that I, I've never played. So I'll, maybe I'll fire it up. If whoever requested Cadaver is here and wants to see it, I'll play that for them too. Yo, Scene Cat, my man. Scene Cat, you rock, dude. I'm, I, I love your mod files so much, Scene Cat. And thank you for that torrent. That was amazing, dude. Andy Amiga 7, thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate it. Dr. Mitzler loves some cadaver. I can't remember who requested it. I don't maybe it was you, Dr. Mitzler. I don't think so. But we'll start with Trodler since uh, Pi Gravity is here. Yeah, Pi Gravity, I'm talking about uh, your request. We'll do some Trodlers and some Grandmaster. Slam. Grand Monster Slam. See, look at that. It's upgrading. I got colored icons now. Pints and Amiga said Cadaver's tough. We did it last weekend on your Bitmap Brothers tribute. Nice. It's really hard. It's a really hard one to um, to stream as well. Sakatumi. Did you request it? Sakatumi? Did you request Cadaver?
Qua House, thank you for coming on the stream, dude. Congratulations on your game. It, it so far is looking amazing. So thank you so much for coming on. Junkuya Barzo, the Branots, the Branots, Qua House. Oh, you just got here and said hi, got it, me. No, no worries, dude. Troddlers. Nice music. Me oh, of course, it's nice music. Alistair Brimble. Okay, so enter password, select game mode, audio. Yeah, we want we want both audio. We want audio and music. It's tough to stream games without music. So I think this is probably best played as a two-player game, but for now we'll play it solo. Solo mode. Let's see. Enter game mode. Let me just see. War, solo, or team. I, I'm going solo. Being, I don't have any friends here. It's just me. It's Alistair Bremble. It must be great music. Agreed. Is what some kind of spherical clone. All right. Uh, mission premiere. Rescue three men. Level zero info. There's ten men. There's no foes. And we've got nine minutes and ten seconds. This is kind of, it's kind of like a, a variation on Lemmings in a way. I just booted it up to, uh, to see if it worked. So I need to get these guys out the exit. That's me. There's a door. Okay, I've got these different blocks. If you see that cylinder of blocks there on the right. I've got X number of blocks. Here, they, here come the dudes. And they stick to the walls. So I need to build something up. So I'm going to start. I'm going to let them go there. They're going to come down. All right, let's put, let's put one here. That should do it. I'll do the same on the other side. It's a puzzle game. Whoops. And as you can see, every time I drop a brick, I get one less over on the right side. Oh, I killed a guy. Sorry, dude. I can take that away. Yes. Mission accomplished. Pixels at Dawn needs to play this, never got around to it. Hey, what's up, play it for the for the tradition? Bonjour to you. Oh, spherical, got it. I've never played spherical. I'm not sure, uh, Tanner. It looks like a it's almost like a lemmings clone, right? Even the little dudes look like lemmings. New level password, build it. <laughs> I tell you, that font makes it look like maybe something else. Spambot. Yeah, I know. The level passwords are great. So, I beat level one. Level two all of a sudden gets really difficult. When I tested the game to make sure it works, I couldn't beat level two. There's the exit. They're going to fall from the sky. So I just want to build something straight up, right? Little rascals. Oh, I killed them. Yikes. I didn't mean to kill you, buddy. That's not gonna work, is it? I'll take that one back. All right, they're going up there. You know, I need to make this one a little bit higher. This is not easy, not easy. Is 
this is hard. It's, it's, my brain hurts. <laughs> Alright, we need to get these guys there. And then put a block here. I don't know if I can block them lemming style. Let's see, let's see if this works. No, they're just gonna come right over it. Uh. He's giving me a hard time. He's like, dude, you're dumb. He's like, dude, you are dumb. Let's build another one. There we go. I'm gonna go grab I'm gonna go grab some fruit while we're at it. I'll get some cherries, get a banana. Woo! Is this life giving you lemons? Oh wait, it's a pear. <laughs> Next level password, nah sweet. <laughs> nah sweet. You find it incredibly hard to play Amiga games on anything other than your old Wyco bat handle sticks. Don't even try with a pad. Dude, I've got my Wyco bat. I love my Wyco bat. I'll, maybe I'll pull it out for you, Sakatumi. Right now I'm using the, the monster mini joys to get rocks. Jost80, this is really cool. I've never played this game before. It reminds me, you know, a little bit of Lemmings for sure, and you know, I'm thinking Worthy as well. It it, it tests your brain skills, and my brain skills <laughs> decrease exponentially with every sip of Jibiots. All right, so we gotta get them up there, but I have to get up there. So I can't build yet. I gotta come down here. I'm gonna try and like build up the side, and without killing these little rascals either. I can come over here. I want. Can I take these? Oh yeah, look at that. You can take these. Cool. And that gives you more. That's rad. Yeah, I'll take that lemon. Lemonamiga.com. Give me that lemonamiga.com. Oh, I'll take another lemonamiga.com. Of course, it's just giving me points. Alright, so how do I... I gotta get myself up there, which is not easy. I probably should have built... Oh, you know what? I should have, I should have built right away. I should have built... That would have been the smart thing to do. I wonder if I can wipe. I should have built, you know, right across, right from the beginning. Oh, the attack too is great. Vomit, you tried using the Wyco bat and hated it? Yeah, it's, it's so funny. Joysticks are such a personal thing, you know? Monster is the best. It's so hard to go back uh, to leaf switch sticks. Boat, you, I love the monster too. I love the monster as well, is what I mean. Oh, these little rascals. These little guys, let's go, let's go. Oh, he's stuck down there. Alright, I'm up here, but I got... Oh, man, this is hard. So these guys are gonna loop around and go, and go up. How many? So that's one, two, three, four, five of them. Oh, I got those guys too. I got those guys by accident. The guys on the right, I got by accident. Oh no! I need to rescue him. All right, I gotta go release this dude. Let's go release this guy. I'm not gonna take that out. I can take back these blocks. Don't die, dude. I need you, man. There he goes, there he goes. Got him. Wow, this is hard, a hard game. Yo, Sudaslap, thank you so much for the follow, Sudaslap, and thank you so much for the amazing music in Icarus. Verge World Icarus Rising, thank you. You love the reggae vibes, Amiga Love? Yeah, dude. Tanner, I don't know the Dan Joy. I'm not familiar with the Dan Joy. I, I was a, back in the day, back in the day, I was a big Wyco Bat guy. That was my jam. I love the Greek stick as well. Unfortunately, my Greek stick is sick. My Greek stick is sick. Pyramid. The next level password is Pyramid. Nice. Pints and Amiga on Facebook and Pints and Amiga on YouTube. Awesome. Um, you preferred the game pads. Just A, do you use like a Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive controller for the Amiga? It works well. Retro Redrum uses the Sega arcade stick for the Genesis nowadays. Retro Redrum also gifted me his Mega Drive uh, game pad. 
which I, I use it occasionally on the Amiga. I, I like it. But I, I'm a joy, more of a joystick guy. You love game pads, just not for Amiga games. Schnitz, I've never seen this game before either. It's really good. Oh, Pints, I would love to check it out. Three devices in one. Sweet, dude. Thank you, Sudislav. I, I, hope you, I hope you enjoy your time here. I hope you come back and watch some future streams as well. You're welcome anytime. I'm a moving target, so it's hard It's hard to know when I'm going to stream. I like to stream on Sundays. That's my favorite day to stream. But like I've wor I worked last Sunday, and it looks like I'm going to be working this Sunday as well. So, you know, I work on weekends a lot. That's another reason why it's hard for me to watch Pints and Amiga, because... I'm, Saturday, I'm usually either working or partying. <laughs> I'm usually like at the bar when you guys are streaming. Eat, out eating some pierogies with, with my wife. Tanner said, Amiga Love, the man that single-handedly managed to convince me that the best Amiga is in fact the Amiga 1000. The hunt was excruciating and worth it. Tanner, I, the Amiga 1000 is awesome, and I love, the, I love the, the ritual of putting in the Kickstart disc. I love it. Uh, bomb it. You shouldn't have to, like, the Genesis pad should just plug right into the Amiga. Boat likes, uh, you like pads for almost everything except arcade ports and shooters. However, games that don't have, uh, two-button support patched through WHD load are difficult to play with the pad because of up for jump. Luckily, most of the games have been patched for that. I love how this button, you can remap with this little switch right here on the monster. You can remap the second button for jump. It's just awesome. The Adams family is your is the best flash performer. It had it had a button for for jump from the get go. I never, dude. I haven't played the Adams family in a long time. Boat. I'm gonna have to dust that one off. Best Amiga is your own Amiga. Oh, Retrobench speaking some wise words right there. I'm not Retrobench. You know, Retrobench just tells like it is. That is the truth right there. Retrobench speaking the truth. That's your dynamic do or do. Oh, that's sick, Pints and Amiga. I'll check it out. I'll check it out on your Facebook page. Oh, or your Facebook group. I think you guys have a group. You don't have an, an Amiga. You're adapters for the 128. Oh, got it, Vomit. That makes sense. Got it. Oh, it's, it's more advisable to use a Sega Master System controller. The Mega Drive controller has got active circuitry, which could cause potential damage. What's up, Whitey Snakey? I thought that was... Like, you, you didn't want to hook it up to a Commodore 64 because of that. But it is it does scare me a little bit with the Amiga, too. Oh, yeah. I'd like to change in music, Alistair Brimble. Let's get these little rascals out. Let's release these little guys. Now what do I do? It's, you have like quite a reach. I'm trying to build this up for them. Can I jump? Yeah, jump. Okay, the jump is key. Jump. Oh, I'm out of bricks. I gotta, I gotta get some bricks. This is hard. But see now I'm down here. Now I got I got to go get these bricks. Otherwise I can't get back up. Tough game, guys. Tough game. It's like how do I get back up? How do I get back up? <laughs> Thank you, Pines and Amiga. This has some uh, pack in the time vibes. Yeah, but yeah, spam bot. The mega, the mega, the 
White Snakey says Master System controller is passive like old Atari controllers. Yeah, that's the safest way to go, White Snakey. I believe it. Boat of Cars chronically controversial. <laughs> Dude, I do have to play the Adams Family Boat of Car. Mod your Sega Mega Drive controller. Yeah, uh, Retro Redron modded modded the one for me. How do I get out of here? This is hard. How do I get the heck do I get out of here? <sighs> Gotta do that, and then. This is, a, this is a good, this is a thinking game. I right, pick some of those. I'm gonna pile them up here. I think that'll do it for those guys. But, okay, I'm gonna let this group of guys go up into the exit, and then I'll go, I'll go grab those guys down there at the bottom. Oh, I can get more time. Neat. And I can, I can get a rotten. It looks like a. <laughs> that looks like a uh, a fruit with a mouth. All right, there we go. All right, got those. Now I'm gonna have to get some of these back. Not an easy game. That ain't gonna work. Take this one back. Make a little, little thing here. That ain't gonna work. I gotta come back around the other way. Oh, they're going up that way. Little rascals. I need to put one here. One here. That'll do it. That'll do it. Do I have enough time? A minute 28. You wouldn't use original Sega controllers. It's probably better options now. I'll I tell you what. I love my monster. It's a good option. And so the Greek stick is great too. Hey, what's up, Sigor? Great to see you, man. Sinkat, it's crazy, dude. Chesh to X-Barry, PL. X-Barry. Nostrovie. X Barry, we had a bunch of. Uh, we played a new game from Poland. It, it, I'm sorry, it's a new tech demo from Poland called Verge World Icarus Rising. So if you missed it, X Barry, go check out the beginning of the stream on the replay. I, I've never seen Retro Game Boys on Amazon, Joe Stady. Level 4 info 10 men, no foes, time 4 minutes. Wow. I dig, I dig the um, exits down there. So I'm going to need to drop down. I got one to the exit. This is a, this is a good game. It's a really hard game to me. Let's see where they go now. They're going to come down there. Come around. I think... This might do it. Oh, uh, but I'll probably have to get rid of that one. I'll probably have to get rid of that guy. Let's see when they come back down. Are they gonna splatter? Okay, good. They don't splatter. They're coming around. They're gonna come down there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of both of those. It's weird because I was gonna. Oh, that's so cool. I got a little bit lucky there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Scene cat, yeah, it's amazing, dude. I got lucky on level four. Three minutes on level five. Okay, I'm up there. There's the exit. They're gonna. I don't even know what's going on here. 
They're gonna be coming up that way. They're gonna go up and all the way around. Oh. This is a tough game. I don't have many bricks either. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh crap! How do I get up there? My plan worked for a minute. Now, now it's, it's all gone to poop. Send him up there. <laughs> Come on, baby. No, I thought that was gonna work. I'm done. I'm done. Good game. Good game. I think I'm done though, so they're gonna come up. I can get some fruits. Got an I can get an olive and some cherries. I'm out of I'm out of I'm out of bricks. Oh there I can grab that one, nice. I need to plug that hole. No, that won't work. That won't work. Tough game, guys. Tough game. This level got me. What I need to do is like build over there. Maybe I'll just go do that. But how do I get up there? Give him that. But then how do I get up there? That's tough game. Pixel that's on. Have I never played this before? I I know, dude. Me too. Me too. Awesome. Well, that, that's a cool game. I'm gonna move on to the next game. But that that was a good run, man. That was a really really good run. Troddlers, thank you so much for the suggestion there, Pi Gravity. Thank you very much. Pi, Pi Gravity what, did a viewer request inside my Discord channel. If you guys want to request a game to be played on the stream, join my Discord channel. We'll do exclamation mark Discord in the chat. And I've got a, a channel in there. I did. I ran out of time. I was done. Out of time. <laughs> I was out of time and, and, and out of brain power, too, points. <laughs> I was kind of done. They, they kind of had me beat. All right. Grand Monster Slam is the next game that was a viewer request. Pi Gravity, I enjoy having you in uh, in the Discord. Let me see I, now. Let me re let me refresh my memory. On uh, it was Bobby Fat Gun. Bobby Fat Gun requested this one, Grand Monster Slam. Bobby Fat Gun, I know was here at the beginning of the stream. Not sure if he's still with us, but uh, I'll make sure make sure he knows that we played the Grand Monster Slam. Wow, that icon! I gotta remap it. Yo, Crimson SD, great to see you. Tanner used to play this on the Commodore 64, but never understood any of it. I don't under I, I tested it out, Tanner, and I didn't understand it either. You're you're requesting top top banana Joe Sadie? Joe Sadie, if there's any chance that you're in my Discord chat, it helps so I can put all the requests in one place. Because I get I can't the brain can't keep it all straight. <laughs> but for you, Joe Sadie, 
I'll have to remember Top Banana. For you, I can remember it. Whitey Snakey, yeah, Cadaver's up next. Yo, Retro Red Rum got crazy at the World of Commodore last week and bought himself an Amiga 1000 and a Picasso 2 for his Amiga 4000. Congrats, Retro Red Rum. That is amazing. I dig the music. The 1000 is super sweet. I, you know, I never had a 1000 until Anthony moved and he gave me one of his. And it's... It's something special. Okay, so... Welcome to the Grand Monster Slam. The king allows you to choose from the following. Grand Monster Slam. Tournament. Revenge of the, the B-Bomes training. Often feeding training. Uh, oh, let's train first. Let's train. Let's train. It is great music, boat. You got the same config on UA. Oh. What the heck just happened? These little these little dudes just like freaking bum rushed me. You punched. You punched a buffoons. <laughs> Let's try it again. Come on, come on, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. I don't know how to get that guy. What, how do you get that? I can't turn it. I can't turn it 180 degrees. Oh, Pints, you got a Discord too. Nice. $200 Canadian. For the, the 1,000 the same for the Picasso. Oh, that is, that's a pretty good deal, though, Jeremy. That's a pretty good deal. You've got the same config on UAE? Dude, ain't nothing wrong with UAE. I love UAE. You need to try harder. No whining fight. I couldn't get him. I don't know how to turn it 180 other than when I fall to my death. Play again. I punched one. Here we go. Come on, come at me. Oh, dude, I, I whacked him a couple times. I guess you have to plunger him. You can't bludgeon him to death. <laughs> I love the sound effects. Pints, I, I'll check out your Discord. I didn't realize you had one too. Oh, man. <laughs> I got two. All right, I got two. I think it is a great deal, Tanner. Oh, Pine says he thinks that this is made from the same people that made Brutal Sports Football. I'm not sure, Pines. I'm not sure. You might you might be right, Pines. I don't know. <laughs> I tried to get him. I know you got the double you got the double ended weapon, but it does seem like a great deal there, Retro Red Rum. Oh god. Oh god, I'm getting underexposed here. Hold on. I'm getting underexposed. The sun has set in New York. I can no longer harness the power of the sun. Yes! Come on, you little rascals. Yes. Now I'm getting it. Yeah, you little rascals. I don't know how to turn, I don't know how to turn 180. I don't know how to turn 180. I got 11. I got 11 of those little rascals. All right, that's a good spot to move on. Yeah. Crimson SD, I, I usually, I should read the manual. I should. I should. I'm drinking too much. I haven't drank enough. I don't think I'm drinking enough. Okay, let's go to the, um, the Falcon feeding. We'll do the second training. 
I like to I like to train and make sure I'm prepared for the actual tournament. So yeah, we Okay. We kick these little guys now. Now we were swatting them with a stick before and now we kick them and the the longer you hold down the button, the higher they go. <laughs> oh god. These poor little guys. It's, it's, it's not very precise, though, I must say. Jiviets, never too much Jiviets. Sudislav, the first time I went to Poland, I got so, like, so drunk. Because I, I was just, like, nonstop. It was, like, an all night vodka. Yeah, I didn't stop drinking vodka until, like, 11 a.m. the following day. And I was, I think I was, I almost had to go to the hospital because I was just drinking. Like everyone was like so excited to like meet me that I was like drinking shot for shot with them. And let me tell you, you, you Polish folks, you guys can, you guys are strong. You are strong. <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> you strong, me weak when it comes to, to vodka. <laughs> Come on. Underexposed is new. I heard another streamer calling it drinking yourself interlaced. Hilarious. Now, when I tested the game, I was able to get in one. Maybe I need to push up on the joystick. Maybe it's not just about holding it down for a longer period of time. Let's try it again. You should time the kick build up somehow. Tap it? Oh, tap it? Really? It's so weird because the first one, I just tap it and it goes like way over. I think it's up on the joystick. Yeah. When I push up on the joystick, it goes higher. Boat, um, crap. So it's Amiga RGB out to an open source scan converter. Amiga RGB out to SCART. And then SCART into the open source scan converter. And then HDMI out of the open source scan converter to my Magewell capture card. It's a Magewell um, HDMI plus capture card. And that goes into a USB 3.1 port. Oh, you meant tapping my head. <laughs> Sakatumi. I haven't gotten one in yet. I'm going to try a very gentle one here. I'm going to pull down on the stick. Oh, come on. I love how they... Oh, he gave me a thumbs down. That's hilarious. Oh, I thought I had that one. I thought I had it. Oh, you can't handle the hard stuff, Pints? It definitely has to go with the duration that you hold the button down. I'm pretty good with the hard stuff. I'm, I'm definitely a, a Maker's Mark guy. I do okay with vodka, but Maker's Maker's Mark is my real jam. That's my everyday in the winter time, and then I do clear in the summertime. So I do like tequila and vodka in the summer. Jost eighty. I did a video on my setup a couple of years ago, and everyone really liked it. So maybe it's time for me to do another one now that my setup is totally different. Needs more adapters. Um, when I finished building this 1200, well, you know, who knows? It's a, it's, it's an evolution. I don't know if they'll ever be finished, but my plan is to put an Indivision AGA in it because I have an in Yes! I fed the monster. Feed the monster. My plan is to put an Indivision AGA into it, and then once I have the Indivision AGA, my workflow will change again. <laughs> so this, this is my, um, setup as of, you know, December 11th, 20, 2019. Oh, it needs specific settings. Yeah, on my open source scan converter, I just take the uh, the output from the Amiga. That's like the 640 by five by uh, 256 for Workbench, and I uh, I just leave it at that. And then the the open source scan converter, I have it upscale to like 1080 mode, 1080p mode, because if it just doubles the lines, my capture card and my monitor don't understand the, like the weird resolution. All right, this is the last part practice. Then we'll start a real game. Oh, you have four machines at the same time with an HDMI sweatshirt? Nice. 
Yeah, I just do one machine at a time. You can see me do the, the swap. Sometimes I'll swap out my 1200 for my 500 or my 1000. <laughs> Why do I not just go direct from SCART to HDMI adapter? And then to the capture card? The open source scan converter uh, scales it for you. Because um, SCART is analog. And HDMI is digital. Because Amiga RGB is like uh, analog out. You can't just plug that SCART into a capture card. Unless you have a SCART capture card, maybe. I don't know. I don't have a SCART capture card. Press fire and keeping it pressed. Collect strength for the, the bellum shot. The longer the dwarf keeps the fire button pressed, the higher and further he will shoot. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Let's play a real game. Grand Monster Slam main tournament. Here we go. The Grand Slammers. So I'm the dude in the upper left, and these are all my uh, opponents, I guess. That is that is quite a cast of characters right there, I must say. Quite a cast of characters. You can get a scar to HDMI adapter. The open source can convert probably gives you better output. I mean, it, it needs to convert it from analog to digital, too, not just adapt it. Juji Pella, what is up, my man? This game is legend. You like it? Nice, dude. Great to see you, Juji. Yeah, Tanner, I agree. The character design is awesome. Oh god, I just went into emoji mode. I got thrown down in emoji. How do I get out of this? Oh, yeah. Throw down some beer. You, I, exactly, Juji. The biceps. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so, oh, it's me versus Barbarian, dude. All right, come on. Did I get him? What is this little duck doing? Get out of here, duck man. Oh, you can throw the duck. What is going on? That duck, I don't know what's up with that duck. Come on. I got him again. I knocked him down again. Dodge and burn. Dodge and weave, baby. Dodge and weave. Going too wide with my shots. Come on. Oh. Oh, he got me. Oh, he got me again. I, three in a row. Four in a row. Oh, my God. Once you get knocked down, it is tough. Once you... All right, so once I knock him down, I go for blood. Go for blood. Yes. Oh, I kicked it out of bounds, and the duck is coming to punish me. Oh, wait, no. The duck is going to go hit that. What the heck is the duck doing? He's going to the, the enemy. The enemy threw the duck at me. But why did I fall? The duck didn't get me. Oh, am I supposed to catch the duck? I don't know what is happening. I don't know what is happening. I, I'm very happy that you requested this game, though. Uh, Bobby, Bobby Fat Gun. This is awesome. <laughs> Now, when I tested the game before the stream, I was playing against an octopus. Juji, it's awesome to see you, my man. It's... You have to catch the duck. Right, Juji. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'll try it again. This is a game... I've never played this game before. I wish it kept score. Like, I wish I knew who was winning uh, the match. Because I feel like I'm beating him. He definitely got me that one rapid time, like four in a row that time, but I feel like I'm beating him. Oh, that time he housed me. Oh, two in a row. Stay left. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. What did I fall on? Wait, what's he doing? He's bum rushing me. He won? Do you, I, I demand a recount. I demand a recount. I can't read it. The ring declares you have lost your fight therefore I cannot honor you with the golden medal but I will make you my fog for at least one year <laughs> okay my fug I don't know fog fug 
Oh, you can throw the duck will become legend. I, I'm so excited to throw to throw the duck. Boat. I used to use um, a, a more inexpensive SCART to HDMI converter. It was only like forty bucks, and it's pretty good. It's it, it, like it's pretty good, but not as good as the open source scan converter. But the quality is pretty good. The biggest jump in quality was when I changed to a better capture card. I was using a Black Magic capture card to capture Amiga, and it wasn't anywhere near as good as the Majewell. The duck is gonna punish me. <laughs> oh man! Oh, so it's like a free kick? Nice. You should probably duck. I'm gonna try it again. Sakatumi, you played this game, but you can't remember how much. It's a good game. It's a good game. You have to clear all the balls from your side. Oh, got you. You have to. Oh, I thought that the object was to like knock him over. I think it says fool. It might. It might say fool. Oh yeah, I'll make you. I will make you my fool for at least one year. That makes sense. That makes sense. Real men don't read manuals. I know, right? Amiga old guy. <laughs> I should. I. Sh I should prepare for these streams more than I do, but I do the best I can. Tanner, I use a Majewell HDMI Plus capture card. So the idea is to get all of them over there, got it. And I guess knocking them down just delays them. I'm getting housed this time. I'm not even trying to. I'm not trying to hit him. I'm just trying to. Get get up. Get up. This guy is tough, dude. This guy is tough. He's not even letting me get up. I can't even get up. I'm down. I'm on the mat. Oh yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> the, the, dude, that, <laughs> that's what happens. You need to get all the you need to get all the little dudes to the other side. We'll try again. When you knock him over, he can't kick his own balls. Exactly. Exactly, Tanner. Beer bill for the win. Improv bill. <laughs> Juji, it is a good idea for a game. It's like it's fun to um It's fun to give it a go. It's not the kind of game I play day in and day out, you know? Oh man, I wanted to kick it back. You know, like on the fly, we could smash it. Here we go, here we go. Get up, get up. Dude, this is intense, intense. Hold on. Just punt these all here in the corner. Uh, like, my instincts want to, like, kick the ball as it comes at me. Like, kick ball. Remember, kick ball is a good game. Here comes the duck. All right, now let's see. Can I catch the duck? Come at me, ducky. Oh, I'm throwing the duck. I knocked him over the duck, but I think he, maybe he caught it. I threw the duck. These little brown coconuts. These little coconut dudes. Oh, man. This guy's freaking getting me. Right, let's come on. Let's come back. I'm going to work my way to the left. Working my way to the left. I'm going to clear out the left side. He knew I was working the left side. See that? To really win the game, you must knock over your opponent.
Oh man, this is intense. Knock him down. I should have tried to get him down more. You know, like once he's down, just keep pounding it, pounding it. Come on, finish him off here. Damn, I thought I was gonna be able to finish him off there. Oh my god. This game needs to be on Amiga Live. It needs to be on Amiga Live. Best played with friends. Get him. So I guess once you get him down, just you just want to keep shooting as many of these little dudes at him as you can. That's gonna be the strategy. That's my strategy right now. Oh, one, two more. Come on, get it. One more. Oh, rats. I had him on the ropes. I had him on the ropes. Again, my instinct wants to go kick it. Oh, jeez. Oh, the tide can turn fast in this game. I need to get a bunch of them over there. So, strategies. I think strategies. You just work, work one side. Man, I, I, I have to use my peripheral vision and try and hit him. Use the peripheral vision. There we go. He's down. Let's just freaking attack right now. Attack. Duck, duck time. I'm going to throw the duck far from him. Throw the duck far away from him. Yes. Yes. You can't catch my duck, buddy. You can't catch my duck. You ain't catching that duck. Duck, duck, go. He's down. Get him while he's down. He's down again. Knock him down. Come on, one more. Get over there, Bill. Get over there. Hit it. Oh, I was so close. I was like a second away. No, come on. No, I was like a second away. Oh, I was like a second away. Oh. Now that I know how to play the game, I was just trying to knock him down before. Here we go. Keep, keep aiming at him. Keep knocking this guy down. Once he's down, keep hit him again. Knock him down. Come on. There we go. Winner. What? What? I was robbed. I was so robbed. That I could that was BS. Knock him down. Yeah, come on, you punk. Come on, punk. Get over there, dude. I got robbed, guys. Robbed. I clearly had the W, but the duck wasn't looking. The duck was looking the other way and didn't realize that I had him beat. This game's like tic-tac-toe. <laughs> The only way to win is not to play. Now I gotta knock him down. Oh, I missed. I missed the kick. Oh, this is. I gotta be honest. This is fun. <laughs> not gonna lie. Get him! Oh, come on now. I had him. Get him! Get him! Hit him! Knock him down. Knock that dude down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, when I kick it out of bounds, the duck comes. Now he gets the duck. I'm going to try and catch the duck. Come on. Come on. I get it. I, that's the penalty for it. I caught the duck. I caught the duck. Yes. Now I'm going to try and hit this one. Knock him down. Let's go. Here we go. That's it. That's got to be it. That's got to be game. That's got to be game. What did I not do right? What did I not do right? Oh, my my hands my hands. Yeah. He just needs a dude. What is wrong? Uh, yeah, Bobby guy fat gun. Dude, I'm totally playing the game because of you. Oh, I have to run. 
That's what I have to do. I have to run across the field. Yes. Should I try one more? One more? Push forward when you kick them all. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to try one more time. It's a long game, but I really want to win one. Come on, let's go. Red Sonia. Oh, God. She's going to be difficult. I should have read it. It's really, really hard to read that text, though. I had that guy so beat. She's she's uh she's good at the defense. She's fast. She's fast. Get her. Knock her down. Oh, come on. Come on, Sonia. You're going down. Yeah, there she goes. Got to keep hitting her while she's down. She got me. Oh, I thought that one hit her. I can't believe I didn't run across the field before. Bobby Guy Fat Gun, this is your request. I'm so glad you were able to see it. It's a good it's a good one, Bobby Guy Fat Gun. Good request, dude. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, I got her. Oh, that one that would have been it. That would have been it. Oh, I hit her. I hit Oh, my God. This, this is just a fun kind of like mindless game. Like you kind of get into the, into the, you just kind of flow with it. You know what I mean? You get into the flow. Get her. She got me. Let me up. Let me up, Sonya. She's taunting me. I know, Sonya. I was down. Uh oh. Oh, I knocked her helmet off? Here comes the duck. I'm going left. Yes! Yes, you missed my duck, Sonya. Feel my wrath. Feel my wrath, Sonya. Come on, she's on the ropes. I knew it. I knew she was going to be able to get up. Rats. I missed the kick. I just mistimed it. Ugh. Working my way back. Get her down. Get her while she, knock her down while she's down. Kick her while she's down. The trick is to hit, hit her while she's down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, so close. Oh, she got me. Rapid fire. She. Get her. Run, run, Bill, run, run, run. I couldn't run. I had her, man. I had her down. I couldn't run. I was pushing up. This is a good game. Maybe she wasn't down long enough. I don't know. Oh, I just missed her. Oh, I walked right into it. I walked right... <sighs> you gotta play the respawn, too. Playing that respawn.
Get her. Oh, see, I had to hit her on that one because now it's going to take me too long to get over here. She didn't go for the kill. I should have waited for the spawn. Get her. Get her. Damn, man, this game can go on for a long time. <laughs> I can't even look at the chat. Sorry. I just want I just want to lose. Bring out the duck. Bring out the duck. I think the strategy is really just to get him down and keep hitting him, you know? There we go. That's a hit. Get her down again. I shanked it. Get her down. Don't shank it. There we go. Get her down. <sighs> she gets right back up. Right back up. And I'm getting coconuts thrown at me. Can't even check the chat. So Sonia, give me a break. Let me check the chat. Will you please, Sonia? <laughs> There she goes. Oh, I shanked it again. I'm like a New York Jets freaking punter with all the shanks. Sign me up for the Jets. Oh no, there we go. I had her on the ropes. She's down, keep hitting her. Don't shank it. There we go. It's right at her. It's right at her. Oh, bring out the duck. Bring out the... I'm gonna throw some ducks. Bring out the duck. This game's going forever. Get her. Oh, man. Get her. Come on. There it is. There it is. There we go! Woo! I beat Sonya. Oh my god. <laughs> Run, it's like a box of monkeys. Yo, what's up, Mindrax? Yo, I, guys, I, I'm drinking the beer. I need to use the boys' room really quick. And I, it's time for the next game. That was fun. That was a good one. Dude, Bobby Guy Fat Gun. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. That's a good one. <sighs> I'll, I'll be right back. I gotta, I gotta pee really bad. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Press up and fire to run. The got it, got it. I finally got that one. All right. All right. What's next? So, oh, let's see. What time is it? What time is it? Is that's my phone? There it is. Six thirty-one. This is when I'm sp I'm supposed to end at six thirty. Rats. I'm gonna keep going. I got another game in me. Next, Jiviets. <laughs> I know, right? 
So, oh, you know what else I got here? Uh, Pseudoslav? I've got, um... I've got natural, um... Highly mineralized water. Contains carbon dioxide of natural origin from Poland. Uh, don't even ask me how to, how to pronounce that. I've, I've got no idea. But it's, it's, it's this awesome mineral water from Poland. It's great. I love it. Jost 80. It's uh, 1231 there and 531 we're in Texas. Definitely, you, you guys are just starting your happy hour there, Pines. Nice. Thank you, Jost 80. Um, so if someone wants to see me play Cadaver, I'll play. I'll play a little Cadaver. Cause I, you know what? I should play a little Cadaver because that was like the next. It was requested. If the person wants to see me play Cadaver here, I'll play some. Cadaver, I'm going to kind of play it a little bit fast because it's a uh, RPG game that I don't, I don't really know how to play. 432 there, amigo old guy. Just a few minutes after 420, nice. Mineral vodka. <laughs> oh, exactly. Now I don't I don't know how to play this game. I don't know I don't know how to play cadaver. I, I really should should have learned more about it first. Whitey Snakey, this one's for you, my man. Cadaver, copyright 1992. The Bitmap Brothers, published by Renegade. Jost 80, I think I've got 128 colors locked in right now. I'll check. I'll check for you. Chapter 13, the story so far. In his last adventure, our hero, Caradog, defeated Gundan, the giant in Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. After an epic struggle and a supering. I don't know, I can't read this font. Many grievous wounds. He cut the dreaded carbuncle into a hundred pieces. Oh, it's so violent. Eventually found his way to an unknown land, a place which hinted at former riches and power. This is where we find him, in his quest for somewhere to spend the remainder of his hard-earned cash. That is a tough problem to have. I need to be in a world where I can spend my money. He chanced upon an inn in the border of a vast mismal swamp. It must be dismal. <laughs> Alright, let's play this game. Cool, sounds good. <laughs> oh, you, Pint's nice, dude. What are you drinking? I do not want to restore the game. Escape to start at the beginning of the game. Let's see what Pint's is drinking. It can look that good, dude. It can look good. I mean, Workbench 1.3 is gorgeous, you know? Oh, I love it. What is it? It's some kind of ale. Nice. Pints is drinking... Pints is drinking... Uh, it looks like a, some kind of yummy ale. It looks really cool. I love the I love like the the, the dude on on your uh, on your beer there, Pints. That's awesome. I mean, even if I reduce that from 120 colors, it would it would look good. I love Workbench 1.3. I think 1.3 looks gorgeous. Oh, you have three one. On, which machine do you have, Jost? Is it a 500 plus or a 600? All right, Whitey Snakey. See, I shouldn't. I really even shouldn't be playing the game right now because I don't know how to play it. Can I pick up these mushrooms? You find nothing, dude. I want to. I want to pick the mushrooms. Okay, I got it. Okay, I can kick the stone. You found nothing. Let's pick up that scroll. Can I pick up the scroll? Let's pick up this hammer. Nope. Okay, I got the rock. And now I got the sickle. Oh, I just pushed the barrel into the water. What is that thing? 
Uh, finally, I got it. There's some bones. There's some retro bones here. Let's, let's get some bones. Nice. I got some bones. You got an Amiga 600 with 020. That's a nice setup, though, Jost. St. Arnold's Art Car IPA. Ooh, I never had that one, Pints. That sounds. That sounds good. All right, let's flip, flip the lever. Oh, when I hit, when I go into the water, I see my health go down there. Got it. Okay, go away. I know I'm not finding anything. I want to jump. Open that suck. Oh. Oh, how do I fight this guy? Come on. I'm going to jump over him. Jump on top of him. That's not working. A full barrel. I want to drink it. You feel refurbished. Nice. This is a water potion. <laughs> a water potion. All right. Pick that up. Now, how do I use this? How do I use my stuff? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead as a doornail. The main character looks strangely overweight and unhealthy for a medieval rogue. Yeah, exactly. You probably should have played the unique uh, level demos for a fast game. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Do you want to restore the game? Press 0 to 9 or escape to start at the beginning of the game. Place levels disk in front Okay, expanding data. Why you snake? I'm sorry. I should really learn how to play the game before I stream it. <laughs> It's a cool looking game though. It's a cool looking game. I just need to learn how to play it. Alright, so this is a boat. That is a diary. Got it. So I picked up the diary. That's a pickaxe. Got the pickaxe. Get some bones. Oh yeah, let's get this. Let's get the rock. Stone. Oh, stop it. Bone. I got a bone. I got a bone to pick with you. I got a bone to pick with this guy. Cool. We can't pick mushrooms, unfortunately. See if I made this game, you could definitely pick the mushrooms. What do we got? Oh, what's this? This is another stone. Oh, it's a silver coin. Fifteen bucks, little man. <laughs> This is a true classic, dude. I know, I know it's a, I know it's a good game. I'm, I mean, I'm not doing it justice because I, I didn't read the manual or anything. Oh, there's a sack, a stone bag. I'll take that. Sakatumi, I mean, sorry, Whitey Snakey. Do you know how to use the items? Because I want to take that pickaxe and like fight this guy with the pickaxe. I'm gonna go that way. What is that? It's a sack. I can't take the sack. You disturbed a maggot. Oh, yes. I stomped on that maggot. That was awesome. <laughs> Woo! You never know what you're going to find behind your sack. <laughs> There's a maggot behind that sack. <laughs> it's like a modern version of the 8-bit rare game. Oh, cool, BitStorm. What's up, BitStorm? Good to see you. Sakatsumi says a true classic, but didn't say it was a good game. I think, um, I I think it 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 prob honestly it probably is a good game. I just not sure how to play it. I just how do I use F F one? Oh, nice. F one's the map. Where's my inventory tab? Tab is not the inventory. I'm not gonna press F ten because that's probably escape. Oh, there we go. Space bar. Stone bag. Looks like I got... Stone bag. I threw the stone bag at him. Oh, no. I'm throwing rocks at this guy. Yes! Look at that. I was... Oh, I get it. I get it now. 
I was pulling stones out of the bag. That's what happened. Sweet. We're learning here. Full barrel. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a sip. Dude, why isn't there bourbon in this barrel, though? Like, who wants a water barrel when you can have a bourbon barrel? You know what I mean? It, and these, you know, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to say there's bourbon in this barrel. All right, how do we get out of this space bar? There we go. Yeah, let's drink. Move this barrel out of the way. Push that barrel, dude. Whoa. Yeah, I'll take the pickaxe. Full barrel. Pickaxe. I forgot how to pick things up. You never got into this game, Minecraft. It's kind of cool. Bitstorm, the, the screens are the best. Want to pick it up? Oh, I dropped it. I don't know why I can't pick things up anymore. How do I do that? This is a diary. Oh, there. Okay, so enter shows you what I've got. Okay, escape. The pickaxe shows signs of recent use. There must be a duck somewhere, Amiga Love. I just threw I threw out my bone. I just threw a stone in the wrong direction. Let's try this again. Missed him. You're not supposed to throw the pickaxe at the spider. You're supposed to swing the pickaxe at the spider. I'm gonna throw the diary. <laughs> You're not gonna kill. I guess you. I guess theoretically you could kill a spider with a diary. I'm just having a yard sale here. That's it. I'm out. Let's see if I can jump on top of the spider. Now I'm stoned totally. It's a chaos engine spider exactly. Nice sock to me. <laughs> this game might only have 16 colors, but it's very well drawn. It is it is very it is a good looking game, Amiga Love. Graphics are good. All right, let's see. Let me just text my. I don't know if I have to go pick this thing up. Hold on one second. I'm supposed to go to a cafe, but I'm not sure if that's on or off. All right, cool. Well, hey, you know, I really need to learn how to play that game in order to do it properly. <laughs> you know what I want to play now? I want to show you guys The Godfather. This is one that... But thank you for the suggestion. I'll learn uh, I'll learn how to play that game and I'll come back to it. Have you ever seen The Godfather? This is like one of the most beautiful games I've ever seen. And I've never played it before. So I think you're all in for a treat. I never played The Godfather. And when I loaded this thing up to check it out, it's like, holy cow. It's incredible. Gameplay seems a little bit left to be desired, but this will be the last game of the, of the stream, guys. 
Maybe, maybe I'll sneak him. Let's see how long I play it for. It's been an awesome stream. Thanks to everyone for hanging out today. It's it's a pleasure to have you all here. I'm surprised they don't have they don't have music during this part of the game. Match letter eight on outer ring with letter K on inner ring. Enter letter displayed on window seven. Oh, okay, I got it. It's letter G. Okay, the next one, window thirteen, got it. Letter Q, got it. Uh, window five, yep, letter P. Bingo. <laughs> got it. Here we go. That's what I want to hear. New York City, 1946. Freaking gorgeous. In the years following the end of World War II, I missed it, but it's all good. <laughs> Joe says that this is a game you can't refuse. <laughs> Joe, you're good, Joe. You're a good one. Tony Brat, it does look like a Cinemora game, I agree. It's not, though. The most significant of the rival factions were the five families, among whom it numbered the Corleone family. It's got some, um, King of Chicago vibes. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's a beautiful game. Battle was fought among the teeming slums of the city. What do I think of these movies considering my professional work? I think they're some of the best ever made, Jost. And I studied with the cinematographer who shot the Godfather movies, Gordon Willis. Some of the best movies ever made. Fire. I haven't seen The Irishman yet. I got. I gotta watch The Irishman. My my friend was the key grip on it. All right, here we go. I'm Don Corleone. There's gonna be some some goons shooting at me soon. Dressed to impress. Get kill the cop. There's a guy up there in that window. I got him. You can't see him because the pole's in the way. Oh, there's a, there's a dude there. Oh, I just... Don't shoot the one with the baby. Even even gangsters have some sort of morals. Where's this guy? I saw you. Punk. There he is. Kill that punk. It's a beautiful game. Got him. I'm not sure how to defeat the guys in the cars. I know there's a guy in the bar. There was a guy in the bar. Shot him in the face. This bully, this bully's coming at me now. He's gonna try and punch me. You don't bring a fist to a gunfight, buddy. You do not bring your fist to a gunfight. Okay, rule number one. Oh, I had that guy. Open that door, open the window again, I dare ya. Got that guy. Duck. Interesting game. The cars look like they're from Street Rod, totally. There's this guy. Don't shoot the woman. Got him. Oh, yeah, I'll take some health. Did I get the health? Did I get it? I can't even see. No, I didn't get it. Get the health. Stop shooting. Get the health. Got it. I'm, I'm just going to keep forcing my way to the right. Oh, this guy's got a gun. 
Oh yeah, I, I can really use that health. I'm gonna go grab that health. Well, this guy. First, I'll kill this guy. Point blank range. Headshot. There we go. Got that health. Keep forcing up. This guy who tries to punch me. Like, dude. Really? You're really gonna come after me with your fist when I have a gun? I mean, granted, it's not the most powerful gun. It's a gun where you can actually outrun the bullets, but... You know what? Even though you can outrun these bullets, like, it's much easier to outrun the bullets than your fist. Your fist is no match for my bullets. What's this guy doing over here now? Come on, come out the door. Knock, knock, knock. Rats. Rats. Got him. Let's, he's launched the bullet. I'm gonna dodge that bullet. Can I go diagonal here? Right in the face. I wonder, oh, the car. Maybe I have to go to that car. I see the car flash. I bet you have to go to the car. I bet you have to, or do I have to go up the ladder? No, I bet you have to go to that car. It's flashing the lights. That's my guess. So a couple of the baby just walks there during the middle of a gunfight. Exactly. Wait, I, I can't get in the car. Maybe I have to climb up. Maybe I have to climb up the, uh, the fire escape. Open that door again, buddy. Open that window again, I mean. Dead. Yep. We gotta start going vertical. I mean, the gameplay is strange to say the least, but is that money? Are they throwing money out the window? Oh, he's throwing bricks at me. Oh man. It controls the it controls about as good as it looks, Tanner. It's so cool how the dead guys in the window manage to hold their guns, yeah. Totally. Oh, the liar dropped down while I entered the area. It's a pretty cool game, what do you guys think? Like it's it's very I love the artwork. That's my favorite part. I love the artwork. Bricks, Home Alone, exactly, it's just like Home Alone 2, you're right, Joe. It's probably Home Alone 2. <laughs> oh, shit. I just love this opening. It's so cool. I love the Brooklyn Bridge. That street right there that you see on the screen right now is super fun. There's a really good pub right there under the Brooklyn Bridge. It's one of the oldest in New York City. Freaking good stuff. Which is interesting that Don Corleone is in New York City because, you know, Corleone was really, yeah. Oh, actually, of course. I was thinking of Al Capone. Not Cor of course Corleone was in New York City. Of course. Yeah, so the game controls are a little odd to say the least. And it's the part that's really hard is shooting the guy in the car. I saw that window open. Don't walk your baby in the middle of a gunfight. I don't want to shoot that way because I don't want to shoot the woman. I, I, I got hurt bad there. I got hurt bad. I was able to pick that guy off, but still. That stupid guy was punching me. It's <laughs> like, really? How did I miss that guy? I need some health bad. 
So I'm guessing one meter on the top is my health, and the other is like my reputation meter. Because if you kill too many innocent people, you disgrace the family. And you die. Well, you don't die, but game over. I'm disowned by the family. Why? The sprites are pretty impressive. Thankfully, the bullets are in zero G. This game is a nice try. I agree. I like how she strolls down the street like this happens every day. Yo, what's up, rule of thirds? Great to see you. I'm a cop killer. I'm disgraced. And they put me down on the East River. <laughs> you could walk around. Those I know, right? It's funny. The game was a nice try. Agreed. Agreed. Not exactly the best gameplay. Alright, cool. Godfather. Alright, I gotta re reboot. I'm sleeping with the fishes now, Head Moon Ryota, exactly. I think I'll play one more game, one more quick game, and then I gotta call it a day. I'm just loving using my new 1200 so much. It's so much fun. I love it. Infant has a great question. Will I be doing a year, uh, a year in review type stream? Stuff that's happened to me in 2019. Um, the new machine looks great. Thank you, Rule of Thirds. Infant, may, I should. Yeah, I should do that, Infant. Invent, I was thinking about playing all the new games that came out in 2019, like just doing like a countdown stream. Or I could do the things that happened to me in 2019. I don't know. Like, I don't know which one would be better. Or maybe I should do both. I don't know. Exactly Rule of Thirds. 2019 saw a lot of cool stuff. But uh, Invent, the theme of one of my streams at the end of the year could be that. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you, Invent. You're too kind. All right, one one last game. You know, I just want to play some hybris. <laughs> I just want to play some hybris. The new twelve hundred is a really nice way to end the year. I agree. Invent. Uh, well, because the, the tricky thing is like it's a tough like bouncing between streams and making YouTube videos. That's really it's really hard. That's why I haven't I haven't made as many YouTube videos lately because obviously because Anthony's not here and also because it's hard like my free time I stream in my free time I have to choose like stream or edit so I'm gonna keep making the YouTube videos for sure the next couple of videos are not gonna have Anthony in it unfortunately maybe some of Amiga news over the year Sakatumi that's a good one yeah Hybris was a was also a request I think I might have played Hybris I may have played Hybris I may have done this request already but I don't care because it's such a good game Joe, do you like a, a non Amiga update for me, like the podcast format with my real work? I can do that. I can do that, Joe. Joe, I've got a really big, a really big uh, project that will be released in February. I think I'm allowed to talk about it a little bit. I shot the a documentary about the um, Vanity Fair cover issue, so I'm allowed to say that. I just can't say who's on the cover yet, and it's going to be. I'll just have to leave it at that for now. But it's going to be a really cool project. It's going to be a really cool documentary. I love this music. I just wanted to go out with something like fast and loud, you know? This, I just love this game so much. I mean, this really is one of the best games ever on the Amiga. It's so good. I 
there's that guy, dang it. You've heard this music before, Poetic? It's so good, right? Yes! Clear out that whole wave. Oh man, I, I need him. I need him bad. Come on. Oh, he fell down? I didn't get him in time? Yikes. That's bad news for me. Now this game does have auto fire if you hold it down, but uh, it's too slow. This game is just so good. Oh, terrible, terrible. Paul Vandervork, did he do the, the music? Best of me getting game music? I, I'm not gonna deny. I'm not gonna disagree there. And it's just a fun game to play, you know? So I can't remember who requested this one, but I feel like I might have fulfilled the request already. But I don't care. I, I can literally play this game every stream. I don't care. It's so good. One of the all time greats, you know? Like, best Amiga game ever? Yeah, one of them. For sure. I'm not gonna miss it this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh feel the power. Feel the power. Oh, he hit me, the rascal. I had the power for... That was terrible. That was a terrible run. Classic. You know what I mean. Uh, rule of thirds. Oh, it might it, it might have uh, offered auto fire. Also, I, I think I've, I've got the Greek stick, man. And it, it's got auto fire built in, too, which is super sweet. But unfortunately, my Greek stick is, is sick. And I just wasted a power up. I don't know, is this like the best vertical shooter on the Amiga ever? Maybe. I mean, I do love Banshee and all that, but I mean, this is like, I think this plays better than Banshee. Banshee's really hard, you know? Here comes, I think it's the first boss coming up. So if anyone has got a game that they want me to play in the future, Please go to my Discord channel. Go exclamation mark Discord, and you can re request games there. And I love it when you request games because a lot of people request games that I never heard of, like that uh, like that monster one we were playing before. Like the first two games that we played today, I'd never played before, and they were both really good. Oh no, <laughs> this game plays well in NTSC too. <laughs> nice real third flat guy. I got that banana for five grand. Did you see, speaking of bananas, I read an article, there was, a, there's a Art Basel, you know, it's happening in Miami, and someone like took a banana and like taped it to the wall, and the, the, it sold for some ungodly, like multiple thousands of dollars. Like they literally just took a banana and taped it to the wall, and it sold for some crazy amount of money. And then someone like literally like walked up to the banana and like ripped it off the wall and ate it today. It was one of <laughs> Even though someone had bought it for like $5,000. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Got him. Yo, Amiga Love. Converting that Twitch Prime sub to a, a real sub. Not that all subs aren't real. Amiga Love, thank you so much for the support, my man. You are a legend, Amiga Love. I'm so lucky to have met you. That's the best thing about the Amiga, is meeting awesome people like, like Amiga Love. I cannot wait to meet you in person, Amiga Love. We're gonna have like, literally like the best time ever. I know it. And Amiga Love, I've got plans, I've got plans for you 
as well uh, on the stream. Because, you know, I was saying, like, Amiga Love, like, Amiga Love is a dude. Amiga Love is a website, is a, it is a great forum. Um, but Amiga Love is bigger than any of us. You know what I mean? The Amiga Love transcends the digital world. The Amiga Love is a state of mind. The Amiga Love is a feeling that one cannot describe. It is just felt like the force. You know what I mean? Amiga Love is just bigger than all of us. So people ask, like, why do you have an Amiga Love emote? You know, why, you know, why, you know, why don't you have, like, my emote or something? I'm like, because Amiga Love is bigger than us. That is why. It's bigger than any of us. Thank you for the sub, Amiga Love. And I, I can't wait, I can't wait to jazz my stream up with some Amiga Love goodness. I've got some really, a really cool idea. Can't wait. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be fun. Hey, what's up, Babadino? What is an Amiga? So an Amiga is a computer. Most people know it from Commodore. It originally came out in 1985 and it lasted until 1984. And it was a computer that was extremely ahead of its time. It had photorealistic graphics, 4096 colors, while the PC was playing around with like four colors. Mac was black and white. Amiga had photorealistic images, looked like a picture on your monitor. You know, the PC was going beep, beep, beep on that terrible speaker. The Amiga had full four channel stereo sound. It was the first multimedia computer in the universe. So basically, Amiga is, is the coolest computer ever. And right now, I'm wrapping up my stream. I'm playing on an Amiga 1200, which came out in 1992. But I just souped it up. This is a brand new case I got for my 1200. And I'm playing one of the all-time uh, great Amiga games called Hybris. Amiga was also had uh, incredible arcade games. It was like, it had the, the best, the closest, to the arcade of uh, any home computer of its of its time. Eventually, sadly, you know, Commodore mismanaged the Amiga, and uh, eventually, it was overtaken by PC and Mac. However, in its day, it was the best. It's still still one of the best designed computers to this day. And the Amiga has got has got a soul, man. It's it's got a soul. I love uh, the, the Amiga. The Amiga is more than just a computer. It's, the Amiga is like Amiga Love, you know. It's bigger than us. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so that's what Amiga is. In a, in a nutshell, it also um, I don't know where where you are, but here in the United States, there was a peripheral for the Amiga called the Video Toaster, that was pretty pretty legendary. It was the most popular peripheral for the Amiga here in the States. And it was used in um, in video production, like a lot of cable access channels used the video toaster. Uh, a lot of, you know, Hollywood movies used the video toaster as well. Uh, there was a, a TV show. Yes! Beat him. He tried to run. He couldn't get away that time. Beat that boss, finally. Uh, was it, uh, Oh my god, my brain my brain is, is not working, it stopped. Congratulations, Brave Commander. You have completed first stage and will now be transported to the second. Watch out for subs. It looks gorgeous. Amen, Father Bill. <laughs> um Sorry if I'm a little behind on the chat. Um, so what, Sequest, the TV show Sequest used the video toaster, they used something called Lightwave 3D, which was a 3D modeling and rendering program that came with the Amiga. Um, my my, my brain is completely spacing on the, on the sci-fi show that used it. It's, it's quite embarrassing. I want to say Deep Space Nine, but it's not. <laughs> what the hell is the name of that show? Oh my god. Max Headroom used the video toaster to make the backgrounds for his show when he first came out. Man, I 
Gotta dodge. I gotta dodge these suckers. This game is so good. I, I, I freaking love this game. I have to say, maybe this is my favorite, like, old school mini game. I don't know. Like, this is a game I could just pick up today and play it, and, and I love it. Babylon 5. Thank you. Thank you. I've already... I've had 500 milliliters of Jiviets and some crazy Polish mineral water. <laughs> I haven't even hit the, the Polish holy water yet, aka Wutka. Babylon 5. Oh, man. Babylon 5 is an awesome show. But yeah, so here in the States, like, people remember Amiga as Video Toaster. Although, I, I don't know if you were act really asking the question or you know what Amiga is and you were just joking around. But, you know, I'll... I'm glad I... I'm glad... Oh, my God. I'm glad I gave my little spiel. Just in, for, just in case any, any of the kids watch the, uh, the VOD. Vodka does rule. Sudislev, I've got, uh, I've got some Chopin vodka in the cupboard I'm gonna hit next. Vodka rules, Amiga rules, Poland rules. Oh, you, you have my enthusiasm, Bobadino. Thank you. <laughs> Demo scene rules. Sudislav, who's your favorite scene? Uh, is it Ghost Town? Go Poland. I love Ghost Town. I love Elude. I love How Job. Of course, the Black Lotus. I mean, come on, it's amazing. You bought all Babylon Five on DVD? Oh yeah, nice. Pseudoslav, Amiga Bill rules. Thank you, Pixels at Dawn Gaming and Pseudoslav. I'll, I'll drink to that. You know, it's funny. Uh, one of the guys who worked on Babylon 5 is in my Discord channel, and he re-rendered some of his work in HD. It looked really, really cool. It was awesome. I love mods. All right. I'm gonna play a little music. Dude, I love this new 1200 so much. I, I'm loving it. Now, so this build, this workbench build, is just a temporary one, though. Like, I'm really, I'm gonna pimp the heck out of this 1200. It's gonna, this is, I'm gonna have, like, the coolest looking workbench ever. I promise. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna put on some tunes. I'm gonna put on some tunes, see if any of my friends are streaming. Do that whole dance. Let's see. Speaking of, so speaking of demo tunes, okay, so you guys, this is Scene Cat's collection. Scene Cat is the man. I love Scene Cat. Scene Cat, this is like the most epic mod collection ever, dude. I love it. Let's do some demo scene various. Trouble the player group, what? There we go. There we go. Um, Bitstorm, I've got, uh, 140 megabytes of RAM in this one. Yo, Amiga Love, thank you for stopping by. I have to go too, Amiga Love. I'm just wrapping, I'm gonna wrap up the stream now. Here's to you, Amiga Love. I can't wait, I can't, so Amiga Love, the next stream, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna upgrade Amiga News, hopefully, and hopefully up to, up, upgrade Amiga Love as well. If you ever need a little Amiga love, you're feeling a little down and out, or you just want to feel some love, come into my chat and do exclamation mark love, and you can spread the Amiga love at AmigaLove.com. AmigaLove.com. No, Bitstorm, uh, you can, you can, you can really max the Amiga out a lot. <laughs> I think if you're thinking maybe uh, eight meg of. Old, the old school, like, 8 megs are fast with none of the max, but not anymore. There you go, Pixels at Dawn. You know, I, I'm i loving this 1200 so much. I'm just, I'm literally, and these mod files that Scene Cat gave me so much that I'm literally just using my Amiga, like a stereo, playing this music. So good. Let me see if I can show you guys this. Let me see if this works. I'm just trying to 
I'm just chilling out. I like to unwind after a good stream. My wife's like, you say goodbye too long. I'm like, that's because I don't want to go. I don't want to. I don't want to end the stream, you know. But I can show you guys something real quick. Before we do our raid and end the stream, I'll show you something. Let me show you something. Let me just find it. I'm just looking through my uh, my photos here. So look what I got. This is from the walk meeting. I got myself a Toaster 4000, baby. I am so psyched to put this in my 4000. It's gonna breathe new life into my 4000. I, I'm, I give my 1200 a lot of love, and I don't give my 4000 much love. I cannot wait to, to set this puppy up. This was sent to me by one of the Guru Meditation viewers. I'm gonna give him a big shout out in one of my videos. But I'm super stoked for the toaster, man. And uh, he gave me a toaster and a freaking flyer. How awesome is that? I'm gonna hook the flyer up. Instead of using SCSI drives, I'm gonna try and use those like SCSI to SD drives. It's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait. This is my dream, like a dream come true. I need to give him a big shout out. I don't have his name off the top of my head. He also gave me, uh, you know, uh, time code generator, which is necessary. Here's Andy Amiga 7. Andy Andy Amiga 7 who's in this chat earlier. Loving the video toaster flyer. This is our Westchester Amiga user group meeting. We meet on the first Thursday of every month in White Plains, New York. Here she is. There she is. Look at look at that. Look at that beauty. I just built her right before this meeting. Yeah, I was working working on it there. Working her. I was I, I'm gonna make a video about it. I'll probably release it right at the beginning of January. There's the new Mobo from um, from RetroBench.com. There's the old case, which was a little bit banged up. I told them to like give me the worst case and the worst keys you have because I'm gonna put it in this rad new CD32 style case from A1200.net. Joe's 80. I would I would be over the moon if you uh, if you came here. Yeah, Andy Amiga 7 is real. Pixels at Dawn Gaming. He's real. Yeah, BitStorm, 8, 8 megabyte was a big upgrade back then, but now they, they have surpassed that. I'm using the ACA1233N, which I can't I can't recommend enough. I, it's incredible. I love the ACA1233N. The ACA it's from individual computers. It comes with an 030 and 140 meg of RAM. It's awesome. Yeah, Retro Red Rum, this is PAL. My new 1200 is PAL, Retro Red Rum. No more holding down the two buttons to switch over. I've been liberated. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. See, I had her all strapped in, ready to go for uh, Vintage Computer Festivus 2019. She was the, the life of the party. Seencat says the Blizzard 030 Mark IV uh, had 128 megabytes on board. There you go. What's up, BitStorm? Um... You love this machine, Jost. It's so good, right? There she is. First stream from the new computer. I love it. Yeah, there were a lot of options with, with uh, more than 8 megabytes of RAM. Seencat, Seencat's on point. He's correct. He's correct, sir. Joe's 80, I like it. I like I like the top banana. I'm gonna play it on the next one. I see, I just saw it in my in my Discord. Awkward. Um, what has the C drive? My 4000 or the CD32 style 1200. This 1200, I've got a CD drive for it, but it's a SCSI that puts it that plugs into the PCMCA port. You're jealous, Sakatumi? The CD32 style case with caps would be amazing for the re board. It totally, it would be Joe Stady, agreed. J 
Jeremy, can you tell the difference with the open source scan converter? It looks so much better. It looks so good now. I think it looks way better. I'm just looking to see if any of my friends are streaming. These these uh these pre-roll commercials on Twitch suck. Hey Tony Brat, I use Hippo Player. I'm using Hippo Player to play it. Oh, you can tell the difference. Nice retro red rum. You're waiting for a UK black keyboard? Nice. You're waiting for your uh, new 500 case? Uh, me too. I got the the uh, Scourge of the Underkind case. So guys, I need to I need to run, unfortunately. None of my like close friends are streaming at the moment that I could see. So I figured I'm just going to kind of raid like a random person in uh in the retro channel i don't see any amiga people streaming so this guy andy from the andy social network is nuts and he's really cool he's playing uh ninja gaiden one two and three because it's when's nes day so andy doesn't really know me i've been in his streams before he is master of the gif he's master of the animated gif so we'll give him a little bit of a raid. I'm not going to be able to hang out long because I need to go eat dinner and I've got a conference call for work that I need to head to. But I just want to say like a big thanks to everyone for hanging out today. A, a huge, huge thanks to the guys from Retro Bones for letting me demo their new game. Demo the technology demo of Verge World Icarus Rising. I'm super excited for it. Congrats to those guys. Thank you for letting me demo your game, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the progress of it. Oh, Mr. Cole is going online? All right, I'll tell you what. I'll wait for Mr. Cole to go online, and we'll go raid Mr. Cole. And, oh, okay, and Retro Redum is going to stream in an hour. At Retro Redum, I can't, I can't wait an hour, unfortunately. <laughs> I can't wait, but I'll wait for you. Um, I'll wait for you, Mr. Cole. You're going to be going live with your CD32 soon. Nice. Delamort later, dude. Thank you, Sakatumi. I'm glad everyone I'm glad everyone uh, enjoyed the stream. Mr. Cola, please go live soon. <laughs> no rush. Joe Stady, you're welcome, dude. Invent71, thank you for hanging out. It was a pleasure. Yo, Andy Amiga7, I just showed you a picture. Did you see it, Mr. Andy Amiga 7? Andy Amiga 7 and I are going to do a really cool demo in January at the WOG meeting. Mr. Cole's live now? Sweet. I just got to close out my Adobe Lightroom. Where is Mr. Cola? Where are you, Mr. Cola? Mr. Cola, I don't see him yet. I don't see Mr. Cola. Yeah, scene cat. We'll make sure everyone grabs that torrent while it's while it's still seated. Oh, you saw the picture? Nice, nice Andy Mega Seven. Oh. Bokanoi is doing Commodore 64. I didn't see him before. I would have I would have raided him. But we're gonna raid. Fortunately, Mr. Cola is going live. And, and Mr. Cola, so Mr. Cola is a great, great dude. I met Mr. Cola in Chicago when I was there a month or so ago. He bought me an amazing 
Pac-Man hat along with Mrs. Cola. We had a great time going to the Retro Arcade. He's a good dude, man. Mr. Cola is a top, top-notch dude. And I'm super excited that we get to raid Mr. Cola. And he unearthed a very rare NTSC CD32 that was like used for dental offices. I never, never heard of such a device. It's amazing. We're gonna go raid. So we're gonna go raid Mr. Cola. And I just want to give a big thanks to everyone for watching today. I'm not sure when my next stream is gonna be. I want it to be on Sunday. However, I'm working Sunday, and I don't think I'll be home from work in time. So my next stream will be either Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. I'm doing a dance with work. I'm doing a dance. So I'm. But to make a long story short, next stream will be Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So be sure to tune in. I had a great time with everyone today. Thanks you everyone for all the follows. Thank you for all the resubs. I appreciate that very, very much. We are going to take it to the hot tub and we are going to raid Mr. Cola and check out his super rare CD32. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend. And Amiga forever. Take it away, 8-Bit Bill. There he is. Amiga. I love that guy. I love that guy. Take care, everyone. Flag on the play there. I, I put. I'll be right back. But it, the stream's over. Stream's over. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Retro bench, you rock, dude. I'm loving this 1200 so much. You're the best. Let's go raid Mr. Cola. I want to see. I want to see that CD32. I want to see that NTSC CD32. Time for the cola raid. See everyone next week. Thanks for hanging out. Peace.